Serious. And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joining some special guests and some lovely ladies. Get let's well get right into it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. Yes, What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition, man. We're joined with a couple special guests and some lovely ladies. Quick announcement before we get into the show. Number one, rumble.com slash fresh fit, guys. We just dropped in a show that we talked about the Andrew Tate situation. Obviously, not all of it was safe for YouTube, so you guys got to go ahead and check it on Rumble. It's okay, ladies. You could look at the screen right now. Chris got your shit, man. <laughs> we're reading the chat, so y'all could look at the screen. Yeah, Don't worry about it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, rumble.com slash fresh fit, man. Also, uh, go and, subscribe and over there. Help us hit 100,000. We debunked all the allegations against yes. Andrew. Yes, all one over each they're charge. All, all false. Them. Yeah, they're all bullshit, man. Um, and we showed footage to prove our point. Ta-da. Also, check us out on uh, freshfit.locals.com. As you guys know, Fresh records uh, content You know, during, before, and after the streams. Yeah. So if you guys want behind-the-scenes stuff, go ahead and check it out over there. Also, double dates and all the other shen- shenanigans that we're involved in, freshfit.locals.com, and all the old Patreon content. W- there too. Also, Check us out on the Megaphone, guys. If you guys want to check out the podcast list to the audio version, go ahead over there to Megaphone. Just understand that you got to wear headphones because if you listen to us, especially the Andrew Tate episode, you're probably going to get fired from your job, right? <laughs> then also check us out on FreshFitPodcastStore.com. <laughs> get the merch, hoodies, T-shirts, etc. cetera. Chris's bum shirt's coming very soon. Then also, guys, check us out on FreshFit <laughs> Clips. We post um, six clips on there now and four shorts, guys. Wow. We're posting 10 videos per day on that clip channel, all right? So we're trying to hit that one and get another golden plaque behind me. So help us hit 1 million on that channel as well, guys. And then Fresh, you want to talk about your vlog? Yes, guys. Uh, vlog channel is still there. We're doing maybe one vlog a week max, and then we're doing streams for the most part. We had a funny stream um, a couple nights ago with me and Sneeko and uh, two Latina baddies. So check it out, guys. Told you kind of way. Let's go. Oh, yeah, those two girls, you definitely know what the deal is with those two. <laughs> those two, those two blood is anyway, uh, Yo, guys, so, and then check me out, Fed1811, as you guys know, I break down criminal cases. The last one I did, I just dropped an episode yesterday on the Toy Box Killer, as you guys know. This guy was notorious in New Mexico, kidnapping girls, and he had a whole torture chamber and would play a cassette recording of what he's going to do to the girl, wild Damn. shit. Yeah, that's, I think, where Saw got his inspiration from with the cassette. He would wow. open it up with... Hello there, bitch. Hello. I'm going to go ahead and he would talk about all the devious shit that he was going to do to I'm them. Check it out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys like that serial killer shit with Arsene Bundy, the Night Stalker, uh, fucking John Wayne Gacy, all the most famous serial killers, check me out over there on Fed 1811. I break down all those cases. And I also cover terrorism, bank robberies, murder, everything you guys like when it comes to criminals. Cover it. So the best true crime channel on YouTube. Um, cool. And, and then Chris is next. Yeah, Chris, go ahead. Yes, ladies. DM me on the RNC Pox on, on IG. Uh, shout out to the girls for showing up to the panel. All new girls. Let's make it happen. And tomorrow we have the Fresh and Fit uh, Million. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, party. So don't the market for that. <laughs> yeah, we got the guys in the studio. Go, 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 hey, guys. Okay, what's up? What up? Yo, that's the meetup crew from uh, earlier, guys. Yeah, Fresh and Fit. All, yeah, yeah, shout man. out to those guys, man. You guys, by the way, before we even start the show, we're having a party tomorrow at 9 p.m. However, you've not seen the venue or you don't know the location. But we're going to do something for you guys special today. Show you the venue itself, what's happening on the yacht. So let's check it out, guys. The video's yeah, here. Yeah, we're going to show you out the yacht real quick, because yeah. we didn't get to show you guys this. We've had this footage for like two days. <laughs> but we keep forgetting, put it and post yes. it to show it to y'all. Yes. So, so and you guys, guys, we still right. have tickets on sale, too, uh, you know, for the last minute. Uh, pop up. Put the link in the, in so the chat, Chris. just put a link in the chat. Let yeah, Mo, Mo will throw it in there. Hey guys, this is gonna be crazy, guys. Check it out. Here's the video right here, guys. So we're gonna. Uh, this is the yacht that we're gonna be doing. It's three story yacht, open bar. Food, drinks. Yes. Here, chill out, bittering, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's Maybe at 3K and then 5K. Yeah, so 3K here. Okay. And then the top is coming up. Oh, y'all got outside of the wall? We do. Yeah, where's outside of the wall? Hold on. That's separate. You don't got it? No, I got it, but I don't want to put the, the name off there. All right, Chris, Chris, Chris. No, I can't put the name of the boy. Yeah, Christina, yeah. of course not. Oh, oh, oh it's because you, oh, you, yeah, yeah. you don't want the people so, to know. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll yeah, guys, that. the last venue we had got kind of crashed, so we got to be real secretive with operational security. Yes. But anyway, without further ado, let's introduce ladies on the panel while yes. uh, Fresh pulls up this video. But yo, that's the inside of the yacht, guys. It's going to be lit. So, ladies, what? give us your name, oh. your age, what you do for a living, dating status, education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we'll start right here. <laughs> so name, age, what do you do for a living, dating status? My name's Melissa. I'm 19 and I'm currently unemployed, but I just started an OnlyFans. Oh, interesting. I'm oh. single and um, I dropped out of high school. All right. And where uh, are you from? Damn. Michigan. Michigan? Yep. Oh, yeah. That explains wow. a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. What about <laughs> you? Jasmine, 19 and... I'm also unemployed. I'm going to be in cosmetology school. Damn. And I'm from Pembroke Pines. Did, Did you drop, drop out of high school, school? too? <laughs> no. Damn, dude. We are, to I swear to God, God dude. We are the same I'm person. I'm on the like, Green flag? That's that's twice Pembroke late, Pines, bro. bro. That's, a, that's, that's a green flag. Thank you. Oh. There you go. Green flag? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> every time, dog. Okay. Uh, and then you said you're, okay, in your highest education is high school, and you said you're unemployed right now, but you're in cosmetology school? Yes. Okay. All right. What about you? My name is Jamie. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> I'm 31. Okay. Uh -oh. There we go. I'm a paralegal. Okay. Uh oh. And I'm from New York. Uh, -oh. uh You're from the city, or? I'm from Spanish Harlem. Okay. Oh shit. When you say Spanish, what are we talking? Are we talking like up by Washington Heights, or? No, I'm talking about 110 Lex. Uh, okay. All right then. Um, you can't so from weapons. New York City. <laughs> <laughs> I do live in the PJ. So uh, single relationship. What are you? Single. Single. All right. And then highest education level completed? Associates. Associates. All right. Cool. Cool. Hi, I'm Yasmin. I'm a realtor. I'm from Chicago and I live there as well. Um, I just graduated uh, with my bachelor's about a month ago in marketing. And um, where'd you get it from? I went to University of Illinois at Chicago. Okay. All right. Uh, and then... And then single relationship. I'm in a relationship. Okay. How long have you been together? Almost three years. All right. Hey. How old are you? 22. Okay. Nice. Cool. So, and then do you have a job or? Yes, I'm a realtor in Chicago. You are a realtor mm -hmm. in Chicago. Yeah. Okay. All right. What are you doing in Miami? I'm sorry? What are you doing in Miami? I'm visiting my boyfriend. You guys do long distance? Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Oh, my goodness. So you've been in a long distance relationship for three years. No, no, no. It it just like recently happened. It's it, yeah. TikTok. Oh, he just recently moved to Miami yeah. is yeah. what you mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he moved to Miami. Yes. You're not going to move out here? I am going to. <laughs> when? Within a year. Oh, <laughs> you better speed that oh, up. You better speed Yo, up. Corruption's already yeah. started, bro. Yo, you, right, better, you, you said, you said two quick. years. You guys been together? Almost three. Almost, Almost three. three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at McQueen just smiling. <laughs> All right, cool. What about you? Oh, my name's Larissa. Um, I go to college. How old are you? 20. Okay. You're, uh, so I'm assuming what, you're a junior or senior at this point? Yeah. Sophomore. Sophomore. Second okay. Junior. All right. Um, and then you're in college. What are you majoring in? nursing and then i'm going for my doctorate all right you want to speak a little bit louder so they can actually hear you i'm in nursing and then i'm going for my doctors okay Oof. all right cool and then, uh, <laughs> he ran right. back to the desk cool uh, are you uh single relationship single all right where are you originally from pennsylvania what part of pa reading oh shit. Sure. Oh. okay okay and um all right i think uh yeah all right what about you uh, my name is Snow. I'm 33. I'm Wait, it's it's Snow? Snow. I snow. go by my last name. Okay. Let me guess. Snow White. <laughs> oh, my it's gosh. It's fresh. Do you want to know my first name? Because I know it's coming. <laughs> All right. You're 33. Uh, what do yeah. you do for work? Wait, 33? I'm 33. All right. What do you do for work? I'm a hairstylist. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, highest a... education level completed? Uh, st stylist school or? Uh, no, I went to university for film and theater, actually, but I was doing more styling, so I just went and got my hair license. You have your bachelor's degree? Okay. So I dropped you... out with 19 hours to go. Damn. Okay.
stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So high school is your last that you actually completed. No, that, 19, 19 hours to go in college. But you didn't complete it. Did though. you get an associate to The least? question was specifically, was what's the highest level completed? Mm -hmm. So, all right. Uh, and then where are you originally from? North Carolina. Okay. What part? Winston-Salem. I went to High Point University. That's where I was born. Shut up. When did you leave world. North Carolina? Oh, pff, long time ago and never going back. <laughs> She's a white girl named Snow from North Carolina. I love it. <laughs> and then uh, the what's your relationship status? <laughs> I'm divorced. Okay. Ooh. Dang. Yeah, sexy. Emotional damage. Uh, question. Did Here we you go. initiate the divorce or did he initiate it? <laughs> she did. I did. Okay. <laughs> Why did you initiate Oh, that is such a long story. We got and very hours. complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Truth to be exact. Uh, uh, you could go ahead. Take uh, like, what was it? Was it like, was the penis not good enough? That's what we're just gonna <laughs> jump right into it. No, I mean honestly, it's kind of heavy material. I don't know if the podcast is like. You must be. You that. must be new here. Yeah. Emotional. Yeah. Heard all kinds of crazy <laughs> shit. Man. You must be new. This is fresh and fit. Lay down a snow white. Yeah. You oh could God. summarize it like yeah. these three yeah, things. Yeah, the you don't got to go into like all the crap. Just be like, yeah, maybe this... the top two or three things. He was a bum. He was lazy. He was a drug dealer. He was a criminal. No, I don't it's know. Not... No, I think it was a drug dealer. Come on, she's simply with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. True. Uh, grief is a difficult, complicated journey. So when you lose somebody, you know, it just everybody is affected differently. And that's fair. It's a journey. And, you know, I just want him to heal. Okay. okay. So you lost someone close to him? And you never recovered? A few people, uh, like, back-to-back. -back. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Ouch. You left him when he needed you. God damn! No, damn. Right. That, I left two years after both of those incidents. Okay. Bruh. All right. Okay. Uh, what about you? My name's hey, Kanisha. What, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's what? Kanisha? Yeah, Kanisha. Uh -huh. I'm 21. I'm a student in college. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are you studying? Criminology. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Okay. You trying to be a cop? Like, what's nah, up? nah, nah, nah. Nah, nigga. Uh, you you from? <laughs> um, I was born in Florida. Oh shit. What part? That's a, that's a red flag. Here we go. My like, North Miami. You're from oh, North Miami. Miami? Yo, yes, check sir. it. Check it twice, bro. Yeah. Uh, yes, <laughs> and then uh, single relationship. Single. Okay. Single AF or just single? And then <laughs> single AF. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, here it is. Ooh, here it is. Make sure to add in that AF. Are you uh? <laughs> Do you have a job or are you just a full-time student? Full-time student. All right, cool. And then, uh, and then, yep, single AF. All right, cool. Uh, and our guest of honor. Special guest. From left to right, right to left. I'm Jonathan from Modern Life Dating. I am the guy who coined the term Money Muscles Game Frame. I'm in town, part of my YouTube tour. I, I live in Tokyo, Japan, but I'm here in this cesspool that's called America. <laughs> Can't wait to go home. But I'm happy to be here with the boys of Fresh and Fit, and I'm happy to be reaffirming the fact that American women are the bottom of the global barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact, brother. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. Okay, what about you? Uh, yeah, I am, uh, I'm Donovan Sharp. I've been in this community for going on, what, nine years now? YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Uh, signature course, woman ease, what she says versus what she means. Um, I have my own private streaming platform with all of my content uncensored and ad-free at sharpstream.com. I sell my books, my courses, offer three eBooks at tsracademy.com. By the way, use code NEW50 to get 50% off and you can find me on Locals or Patreon. Just look for Donovan Sharp. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to Dev. She literally like texted that to me so that I could say that because I never plug my shit the right <laughs> way. Fire. Shout out to her. Oh, by the way, seven year uh, my seven year anniversary with Dev is coming up on the nineteenth. So shout out to you, Dev. Love you. Legendary. God damn, seven years. Holy. Yeah, Jesus. My name is Megan McQueen. I'm a comedian on YouTube. You can just type in Megan McQueen. Don't type in just McQueen because there's a bunch of Lightning McQueen cars. With <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Type in, yeah, type in Megan McQueen. It's the nigga with like a million subscribers or close to a million subscribers. Make sure you subscribe because we're 20k away from that. You know what I'm saying? We get a new Millie. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's why. Right. Uncle niggas. All right. All right. Cool. This is the other part of the yacht that we didn't show earlier for obvious reasons. Okay. Cool. We're gonna we're gonna play it right now. Yeah. All right. Cool, guys. Party is tomorrow, 9 p.m. It's going to be lit. We have a bunch of girls. How many hundred? We got a couple hundred confirmed? Bro, at least yeah, it's like 110. Some, some okay. God, damn, we're going to special crazy. Crazy. the boat. Shit. Hold on. I'm the captain now. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Can you turn the audio off? Let me turn the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah, man. As y'all can see, man, this is a nice yacht, bro. Yeah, that's fucking yeah, it's like yeah. The party deck where we just party, hella yeah. music, DJs. dance and stuff, DJ yep. stuff. Talk. Word up. Yep. So, oh, man, um, this is awesome. Well, I really don't want y'all to hear him panting after going up them stairs. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. That's good. So, yeah, man. Is that a hose up there? Huh? There are going to be a lot of hoes on there. Both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guess All right. right. Cool. Uh, so, so this is what we're going to do, guys. As you all know, it's Friday. So go ahead and get your questions in. Yeah. This is going to be a supporter-run show. Mm-hmm. Y'all ask the questions, and we will ask them. So I already know we already have a few here. You know, lady, uh, here we go. Wyatt goes, uh, oh. okay, King Kareem first. He goes, part one, ladies, what makes a girl a bad bitch? Are you a bad bitch? What exactly is a bad bitch? Describe her for me. Also, who gives her that title? Confidence, personality, and self-love can't be used in answers. Okay. That's a lot there, my friend. So we're going to go ahead and make it simple. What makes a girl a bad bitch? Yeah. And we'll start right here. Wow. Thanks. Yeah, she started last time. Ladies so first. it's always going to go this way. Left to right. Go ahead. Um, right, right, so. I think that something that makes a woman a bad bitch is somebody who can walk in their own and stand alone and just be. I, but they said confidence can't be in it. But yeah, that's what makes a bad bitch. Like your confidence and your personality. You walk in your own right every day as a woman so question would you consider yourself a bad bitch yes okay period question for you can if can uh so if a girl is fat and ugly is she still considered a fat and bad bitch because she's hell no i believe that a lot of people are beautiful i think that we're and nobody wants fat bitches man here we go this isn't a bad this isn't a beauty pageant you don't have to give bullshit answers okay i used to weigh like 200 pounds and i still felt good about myself yeah but you don't anymore you feel better now that you're not 200 pounds we're not gonna say that why'd you lose the weight yeah why'd you lose weight why'd you lose weight are you fat shaming yourself no it happened randomly and not randomly i wasn't trying to lose that weight it just happened Look, a fat bitch cannot be a bad bitch. <laughs> I was a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch now. Period. I beg to differ. All right. <laughs> Snow, <laughs> let's hear your opinion. <laughs> so what makes a bad bitch a bad bitch, Snow? Mm. The way she carries herself mm. and the way she handles the world around her. Okay. So there's nothing internal? He literally took These everything are all therapist yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, but I agree with her because it's the way you carry yourself and how you are as a person. It's like basically your inner self. So are you a bad bitch? <laughs> yeah. Are, are you a bad bitch too? She didn't sound too cool. Damn, three bad bitches. All right, cool. All right. She said, yes, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think the way you carry um, yourself, I don't have to be loud. Yeah. Someone bitch. who, aside from like what he said, um, someone who like knows their value, knows their worth, um, does carry themselves, uh, does carry themselves very well, and very like well spoken, and just has a good positive vibe in life. So, are you a bad bitch? Yes. So, the nigga from that moved to Florida has a bad bitch. He does. Uh oh. Oh boy. <sighs> Click clack. <laughs> Moving on smartly. God. I think a bad bitch is someone who's independent too. Someone who doesn't have to rely on somebody, but who knows damn well and good that if she needs somebody, she can call them at the drop of a hat because she's a bad bitch. Okay. Neil. That doesn't sound like independence at all if you have to call somebody to rescue you. It's not so much rescuing, it's knowing when you need help. But if you that's need help, different. that's that. Well, that I understand. But if you need help, that's but I can that's be not independent. Independent, but I can need somebody's help. Like it, that's it, you're saying. You're saying it in a general you know the context word, of like money and things like that. I'm talking about like I'm not just talking about something that. Sweetie, there's a difference between dependence and independence. If you are independent, then you don't need anybody. <laughs> Thank you. She's a, she's, a, she's a paralegal. Got All right. What about you? Someone that's like completely herself and like is also adaptable in like situations like you can be able to hold your own and like want to do your own thing you're not worried about what everybody else is thinking you're just yourself that's a bad bitch and i am a bad bitch oh yeah oh you said it okay cool all right oh yeah um i think speaking to the mic i think being a bad bitch is like being ambitious knowing how to carry yourself and also taking care of yourself you know, your appearance is everything. How you act is everything. So it's really how you come off towards other people. Because I think being a bad bitch, 
like being a bad bitch has such a big title that can be handed out just to anyone. So yeah. Are you a bad bitch? I'm getting there. Okay. Oh. oh. She's the only one who didn't say she was a bad bitch. Humility. I like it. Okay, question for the guys on the panel. In your humble opinion, who in here is a bad bitch? Jonathan? I think that I think women that refer to themselves as bad bitches are trashy. So I don't fuck with when a woman tells me I'm a bad bitch, I'm like, all right, see you later. <laughs> Donovan? Uh, <laughs> if you really are a bad bitch in that sense of the word, then we shouldn't know who you are. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> Any woman who calls herself a bad bitch is just telling us that she's just a bitch. That's it. Damn. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I mean, I just feel like any girl that calls themselves a bad bitch is probably a dumbass because it's just like, <laughs> no, no, it's just like you know, girls get mad when we call them bitches, but they all just call Facts. themselves bitches. Yeah, bitch. Bro, they all just probably say, "Yeah, I'm a bad bitch." You know what I'm saying? Like, every single one of them. And if I'm being honest with the description of what they what they call themselves is what a bad bitch is. I don't think that's a bad bitch at all. And no. they all said the same exact thing. I don't think that has anything to do. I wasn't, I wasn't attracted to that, that I think that, at all. The, the, Not that it should matter to you guys. I'm just saying, I, I don't think that's a bad bitch. I, I think you the, know? The, the, the consistent theme with all of them was they were referring to themselves as being a, ref, a resourceful woman. You mm. know, because they're like independent. I can, I can figure things out on my own. That's resourcefulness. I like a resourceful woman for sure. Mm -hmm. But a, a girl who's going to call herself a bad bitch, I'm like, ugh. Go back to the projects. So. I just find it so <laughs> I funny. Don't think, I don't think independent is, is attractive, though. It's not. I just find Man. it so funny, right? You said it earlier. They call themselves bad bitches, right? But we say, you're a bitch. It's like, why'd you just say oh, that? Yeah. 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 Like, what the fuck? You just we're bad in front of it. You yeah. guys didn't ask us if we use that terminology to refer to ourselves. You asked us to answer the question. Ooh. Yeah, but the then we asked you if you thought you were a bad bitch, and you said yes. But yeah. we're I've never seen a man more angry. Just like, no, actually, I'm not a bitch. I'm just bad. I've never seen a man more angry than when a woman calls a man a bitch. Ooh. Oh, wait, why, you guys why, get that, very emotional. That's not about the topic that. here, baby. What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't care. I can drive the car wherever I want. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. shoot. Okay. It's no, it's just a shit talker, y'all. Don't worry about her. She's harmless. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, interesting. Uh, I mean, from what how they describe a bad bitch, I was a little confused because typically bad bitch does deals with looks alone. Yeah. Right. And I've never heard girls like you like. When, if you ask a guy in general, yo, is that chick bad? They're talking about her attractiveness or appearance. appearance. Yeah. They don't really care about this, how she carries herself and her confidence and independence or dependence in this case. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? It's th these are none of the things that guys it's think like about if, when they think about it. For example, bitch. right? If you're an alpha male, you don't say, uh, oh, I'm an alpha male. It's like, exactly. niggas know you're the, you're, you're the alpha. Yeah. It's like saying you're a bad bitch. Niggas know you're a bad bitch. You don't got to say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just saying. Fair enough. Interesting. Yeah. I, uh, said, I said the other day on when I was on value attainment, they were like, you know, what's a high value woman? I was like, a high value woman doesn't go around saying, like, I'm a high value woman. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Like, Don't. No. Yep. A high value woman is demure and modest. But if we're asked if we're a high value woman, are we supposed to say no? You yes. asked if you're yes. supposed yes. to say no. You're yes. supposed to be honest. And by the way, you cannot be, there's no such thing as a high value woman who does not have a high value man. You're not a high, a, a high value man makes a woman a high value woman, period. On oh God. Do you have a rebuttal to that? She does. Good. Go oh, man, I, was, I was expecting her to fire you. back. He won't you. Go come ahead. on, Snow. Go fire back, don't <laughs> yeah. you? Come on, Snow. <laughs> go ahead. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. If you have an opinion. You can't, you can't tell us to like, oh, a girl can't call herself a bad bitch, but you're asking us, do you consider yourself a bad bitch? And you answer the question. Claro que sí. <laughs> that means I think so. She's so clever. She's, she's so, she's so, she, I mean, she's so I'm clever. She's speaking girl. to us in other languages here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, she's okay. North Carolina, guys. You, right. you know, that's just, we'll start right here. Why it goes. Slack. Ladies, please name three countries. <laughs> Let's so go. Let's here right go. Here. <laughs> name three countries. Um, and you can't mention the U.S., Mexico, or Canada. And also as well, whatever she says, you can't say either. So but she's gone first. But yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. talking to her, but yeah. Got you. Uh, Greece, Japan, Peru. All right. Okay. Nice. What about you? Brazil, Afghanistan, and Japan. She said Japan. You, yeah, you can't, can't say Japan. You can't say Japan. Why? Because those are right. I just told you the rules. said those 30 seconds ago. Um, so you said Greece, one Afghanistan, more. one more. Okay. Speaking to the mic. Australia. All right. Bingo. Okay. Russia, China, uh, India. All right. Okay. okay. Palestine, Belize, and India. Palestine's not a country. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, no, it's not. Oh my god! No, it's not. <laughs> YouTube uh, yeah, is owned yeah, by yeah, Jewish yeah, people. Yeah. It's not. Damn, <laughs> I thought we were going to do it again, guys. I thought we were going to get through it again. Oh man! All right. What about you? Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and France. 
Puerto Rico is not a country. Oh my God. Try again. Wait till the end, Jonathan. Sorry. Let us have the rumble. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait till the very end. Just let him have the L right then and there. I like this. Okay. All right, what about you? Uh, Norway, Denmark, Sweden. All right. Look there at you go. Ooh, went to Scandinavia. Um, Haiti, mm -hmm. Nigeria, mm -hmm. and Germany. Somebody well, say yeah, Germany? Yeah, I think someone said. No, nobody said Germany. No, no, yeah, I don't remember uh, that. Criminology okay. solid. Cool. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. All right, so uh, we had Palestine, <laughs> Palestine, Puerto Rico. Who else named something that wasn't a country? Palestine is a country. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Nope. Oh my no. god. <laughs> look, hey Chris, look it up. Look it up. Go on. Look yeah. it up. Let's Google. Let's, 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 let's Google. Not a country. <laughs> what's what's the capital of Palestine? I'm literally Palestinian. Guys. I don't care. What's the capital of Palestine? That's why you said that. Yeah, of course. What's the capital of Palestine? I knew she was making a political statement by saying that. Yeah. But what's the capital of Palestine? She's fighting for freedom. I hey, actually man. don't know, but I'm okay. assuming it's Palestine. Oh my god. You're Palestinian. You said Palestine was a country, but you can't name the capital of Palestine. Okay. Got it. Is that my fault my dad left me? Oh, <laughs> It's not my fault. There it is already. Emotional damage. damage. I hope yeah. your mother's Palestinian. I don't know. Yet. She's not. So you're defending your father who left you? I'm not. <laughs> but, hello, my father. Shout out Chicago. I need oh. a stronger drink. All right. Shout out right. Chicago. Part two. Ladies, honest. Wait, did you grow up Muslim? No, I'm I'm Catholic. Oh. Haram! You're right. just here for attention at this <laughs> yeah. point. <laughs> Part two, ladies, on a scale from one to eight, yes, eight, how low can she be to still be considered a bad bitch? Is it two-faced? No, bro, none of them even went over looks, yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah, Only yeah. one girl mentioned looks subtly. Uh, shout out to Fresh for instigating on the past after hours. Keep on going, my guy. Remember, if it were me, I wouldn't let them let that slide, but that's just me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. That whole instigation part is because Goose Island, bro. It's just hilarious. All right, FNF, should my chat GPT, the AI is a feminist, would be dope if y'all used on the live stream and have Myron debunk it. Oh, yeah, it is a chat that can generate like live feeds of whatever questions you ask it. It's crazy, bro. Mm. It's uh, okay. AI. What what would cost more to create a robot that meets the need needs of women or a robot that meets the needs of a man? What do you think, bro? <laughs> that's Shit. actually it. You know, that's a good question. That is obvious. All yeah, right, ladies, obvious. what robot do you think would be more expensive? One that makes a woman happy or one that makes a man happy? We'll sh start right here. That's easy, a woman. I mean, it's more expensive to make the one for the woman. Mm. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're saying men are easier to please? Y'all are less expensive, sure. I know, that's right. Okay. Hey, what listen, about eggs are expensive. Sperm is cheap. All right, what about you? Do you what robot would be more expensive to create? Ghost, no. <laughs> I think I would agree with you. Yeah. So are you saying that men are easier to, to please <clears throat> since the robot is cheaper? Yeah. Cool. You can just see the logic in her head like, oh, I don't <laughs> like saying that. It's easier to please men. All right. What about you? I agree with both of them. So do you agree also that it's easier to please men? Yeah. What about you? Yes, I agree with both women and it is easier to please men. Okay. What about you? I think sexually it's easier to please men. Okay. But... In a regular yeah, day, day relationship, I feel like it's just a little more difficult. There's a lack of communication that a lot of men have nowadays that okay. a lot of women aren't getting from them. What kind of a lack of communication? Like what they actually want. Or are you actually, kidding me? Are, are you... Actually, let me, let me rephrase that. Okay. I, got I, a quick question. Like... I got a question. Are you lesbian? No. Bisexual? Yes. There you go. Okay. All right. But sorry, you were saying you're you're making a point before. I feel like merch. There are there's a lack of communication in certain relationships okay. that make it difficult for women to sort of read between the lines with certain men because they okay. don't know how to express themselves. I have a question. Are you so you think it's easier it's harder to please men in a relationship than women? I think outside sexual would not. Sexual. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm talking about like in a confinement of a relationship. Let's get out of sex. You think it's harder. To, it's you think you think it's harder to please men. Yes. OK. And you're saying it's because of communication. Yes. What if let me ask you this, then. Do you think women want the truth? No. So wouldn't it be fair to say that communication is kind of messed up because you can't be honest? <laughs> Bingo. Gotcha, bitch. To a degree. Yeah. But also women can't be honest. I mean. Who prefers lies more, men or women? Women say I, it there. Women, you go. women do. Mm -hmm. So if women prefer lies, I think a man can tell you exactly what he wants uh -huh. to a degree, yeah. but women are very difficult and they don't listen. Okay. Like they don't actually listen. So, so you just wouldn't that your prove, entire point? Yeah, wouldn't that kind <laughs> no, of prove why men don't depends. communicate? Because because literally, you're by your own accord, you're saying 
women, to right? To a degree, don't, yeah. Can't I accept agree. the truth. And to on top of that, women don't listen. So why would it behoove a guy to talk, communicate? It, and a relationship is different. A man can tell me at a, if I'm going out to a club or something like that and I see somebody or oh whatever, yeah. if I'm going out even to a bar, you know, a man can sit there, buy me a drink. They're going to end up saying sweet nothings into your ear. And that's exactly what they're saying. Sweet nothings into your ear. Because mm-hmm. eventually they're going to get what they want to get and they're going to move on. To a degree, but then the woman gets t- the, the woman tends to get Who clingy. Hurt you? Or they, <laughs> yeah, that was oddly not, specific with not, these sweet nothings. It's not <laughs> yes. a matter of Careless being whispers. hurt. It's just a matter of being honest. I feel like there, to a degree, men can be honest and women just don't want to hear it. So, to a degree, <laughs> women can be harder to please, hard to please. But I think men are just as hard. To are please. you crying? That's crazy. No, no, my Yo, you know what? Oh, men are, dude. We are so we are so Nigga, why are you simple. <laughs> She's, why is she crying? My eyes have been watering all night. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She, she's uh, high. I thought it was the fan jokes. What about you? What, which, if you had to create two robots, one to please women, one to please men, which one would be cheaper? I think the women would be cheaper. Really? So you think it's harder to please men? I mean, no, no, sorry. What the heck? Um, Men would be easier and women would be harder. But uh, the only thing I'm okay. thinking is like, Men, they always like want to cheat, so I feel like they need to have like a million bitches. The men you one. date, yeah. oh. <laughs> the men you like, date, like a super woman type of thing, so they get like a bunch of sides because men like variety, you know. That's true, you're right. So. This is this is so funny that women talk about the fact that men like to cheat, dude. 30% of men between the ages of 18 and 35 are either virgins or haven't had sex in the last year. If you really wanted a faithful man, you could find one. I don't know. Maybe it's the places I'm looking. I don't know. It's for like, sure the places you're looking. Yeah. Oh, let's start there. <laughs> start let's by start getting there. out of Miami. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, the yeah. whole Florida, to be honest. No, Florida, go to Orlando. No, just Miami. Go to Orlando. <laughs> I don't know that you would have much luck in Orlando, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what about you? Which robot is cheaper? Sitting out there. Um, I would say making a robot to please a woman it would be cheaper because I feel like oh, women okay. tend to settle for less because it's more comforting when they know a man won't leave them. Interesting. You really yeah. think women are easier to please than men are? I think in some scenarios, I think men general, are though. more picky with their women and like who they're staying with. Like obviously men can sleep with any woman any day. This is so and funny. a different one every day. This is so <laughs> funny. What, so, like, so, so, so you genuinely what, believe that? What we this is I funny. Do. What we what, what just happened, what just happened is something we talk about all the time. Anytime you ask women about men and their in the context, they don't realize that most men are sexually invisible to most women. So when we ask them questions like this, their data set is only the top 10% of men. Yeah. That's why they say, well, men cheat more or men have more options. Dude, not every guy can sleep with any bitch he wants to. You guys are talking about the top five to 10% it's of men. the men you like, baby. Yeah. That's true, but I feel like, so I haven't been here, I've only been here a month. So since I've came down here, I've noticed it's been the other way around. A woman can sleep with any guy in the city. You know? <laughs> a woman can sleep with any guy anywhere in the world. For sure, but I think it just like took me coming down here to realize that. So it's like, where are you from? Where, where are you Michigan. From? She's nineteen. It's Dude, there are hoes up in Michigan. No, I'm just saying she's <laughs> not she's, like down here yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. hoes everywhere, man. Well, I mean, Ludacris yeah. came out with the with the song "Hoes in Different Area Codes." Man, yeah. 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 There, there, there are good wife and girl girls up there. All you need is a bag of beef jerky to snag. <laughs> Damn, I got some beef jerky and a full set of teeth, baby. Calm down. <laughs> hey, that's a game for you guys. The, the course is coming out next. Bang, Michigan. Yeah. All right. All fair right. enough. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, so we're going back to the chats. Okay, question for ladies. How would you feel if your son was falsely accused of rape? You know he's innocent, but the people say he's guilty and he serves time. Ooh, oh, that, yeah, that's heartbreaking. What a dark question. Yeah, that is a dark question. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro. All right. Bro, yeah, we know what they're gonna say. Yeah, we yeah. know what they're gonna say. Uh, rate the girl next to you, and one thing they can improve. Oh, oh shit. Oh, boy, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, I'll start. Uh, oh. no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John's, like John, John's a five. All right. So what we're going to do is because we know how they are with the numbers, right? So I'm going to have you guys. Okay. So look to your right. Okay. Perfect. And for you, you're going to look at her. That's who you're going to rate. Again, girl to your right, ladies. Okay. So for you, you got to look at her, you, her, you, her, you, her. And then so on, right? And then you across. Now, you get a good look at her. You guys all know what she looks like? Cool. I need you guys 
to all close your eyes right now. All of you close your eyes. And if you open them, I'm going to roast you. Close them. Close your eyes. All of you. <laughs> now, close your eyes. Keep them closed. Okay. Now, for this experiment to work, I need you to keep, keep your eyes closed. I'm going to count to three. And what I want you to do is I want you to rate the girl next to you in looks only one to ten. So if she's a five, you hold up one hand. If you she's a ten, you hold up two hands, etc. And we're looking at y'all. Don't open your eyes because I want to make sure that this is honest. Okay. Good strategy, man. Yeah, this is how, yeah, bro. You have to do do it this way. Yeah, because girls are heavily Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is how I keep it honest. All right. So on three, rate the girl to your right. One to ten. Looks only. Not her personality, not her education on this bullshit. Looks only. One, two, three. Throw them up, throw them up, throw them up, throw them up, throw them up. Okay. Give me a second to write them down. (laughs) Give me a second to write them down. I give you a ten, John. (laughs) I give you a ten. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on, keep them up, guys. Interesting. That built your kidney, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and okay, hold on. Oh, okay. God damn it. Motherfuckers is lying in his bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'd I'd help my girl. <laughs> uh Okay. All right. Cool. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. All right. Now we're going to start right here. Oh, you guys can open your eyes now. You guys are good. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to start right here. I want you to rate. Uh, sorry. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to say what you rated her. I'm going to keep that to myself. But if y'all start capping, I'm going to reveal what you rated. Oh, each other. yeah. There we go. So keep now honest. I want you to just give her one critique that she can improve to be cuter. Looks only. Shoot. Nothing to do with personality. Go ahead. Don't hold back, queen. Let her know what's up. Don't Let go back. Know. Don't hold back. <clears throat> speak, I don't know. Speak I, into the mic. Speak with penis. I think she looks pretty good, but maybe I'd like to see with like curls in the hair or something, or like do something different with the hair. All right, hold on. Is she a bad bitch? She is a very sophisticated. No, 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 no. Ask the question. <laughs> is she a bad bitch? <laughs> good Dude, answer. Be, there's no such thing as good a 19 year old sophisticated woman. Good answer. Come good on. answer. Good answer. Okay. All right. What about you? Uh, oh, uh, so, sorry, we're going to go what this way. I go. Yeah, what would you give her? What one critique you would give her? Um, come and see me for hair instead because I'm new to the area and I need more clients. Ooh. Okay. Damn, she said your hair is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Uh, uh, and that's coming from a white bitch. Oh, <laughs> that's oh, crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Let's get Rachel. Hold on, hold on. Just a white girl. If I was you, I would take that. <laughs> 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 you you a queen. You a queen. You would take that from her. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come on now. What about you? One critique. My black queen taking L's, man. No L's taken. Man. I mean, just your ass, nigga. I like your hair. Can you speak up a little bit? Stop yelling. I feel like you should Merch. go darker in like the hair. Yeah. Maybe like black. I feel like I eyes a lot. Okay. All right. Go ahead. She's far away. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> All I was going to say is that I feel like you could add a pop of color to your lips because you have really pretty lips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, wasn't that clever? Were well, you trying to say her lips are chapped? Oh, no, <laughs> no, they are. So it's okay. <laughs> Wait, now she's saying she got DSLs. So that's what she's saying. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. All right. uh, okay. Um, what about you? One thing she can improve. Don't cap. I mean, talking to Mike though. Maybe add like another layer to your necklace. I don't know, but be pretty. Nah, something physical, not alter aspect of her, like the uh, yeah, not jewelry uh, accessories. You're a switch hitter. You can do it. (laughs) (laughs) I ain't lying. I mean, instead of her hair in a ponytail, she looks like she has really nice hair. She could wear her hair down more. Mm. Maybe add a little layers to it. Bro, sexy. Look All right. Doesn't cool. she look like Jubilee from the X-Men? <laughs> <laughs> Only because of the jacket. Only because of the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Jubilee. Wait, yo, it's a come on, yo. You that from him? Yo, it's type, a compliment. Type Jubilee on fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me as a small dick. That's a compliment. Him. That's not a compliment. Rust him. Get him. That's a compliment. That legitimately is a compliment. Yeah, so he's beneath you. He tell me he's a loser. Yeah, 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 that's Jubilee. That's Jubilee. She doesn't look like Jubilee from X-Men. 
crazy. Yeah, 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 Hey, no, you know, you're thirty. You're thirty-one. You, you didn't grow up I, watching that, I girl. sure did. I take no offense. But it wasn't it wasn't made up to be offensive. No. Where's no. Professor no. X? <laughs> All right, oh, man. I'll be I'll be Professor X in a couple of hey, years. Hey, John, listen was garbage, man. Huh? Jimmy was garbage. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh, Chris, shut was up. garbage, He's man. Now. It's, it's, you. Right, was garbage. Uh, it's, it's your turn. Go ahead. Uh, what's your? Uh, how can she improve? Um, first, I want to say this is such a hateful question. I hate oh, that he God. asked that. Here we go. Oh, yeah. 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 If you don't just answer the motherfucking go. question, okay. you know before you answer, before you answer, MLD, what's the one obvious thing you could tell me that would improve my appearance? Mm, okay. Okay. Oh, you are fat as fuck. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Some red shit. Exactly. That's fair. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Go, go, right? There you go. So there you go. See, if you know, we're all honest with each other, we do better in life. The reason why MLD, see, this is this is the, this is one of the main differences between men and women. Yeah. Men are true friends because we can be honest with each other yeah. and yeah. not get offended. It's not hateful for him to tell me I'm a fat ass because right now. I'm a fucking fat ass. It is what the fuck it is. Mm. I gotta put down the cheeseburgers and get on the treadmill. There you go. So let's go. Real name. But if I were to say something, I would say grow out your hair because I feel. Like oh my I'm... god, that was so hateful. Oh shit! Wow! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Yo! Are you gonna take that, Jubilee? No. You gonna take that from it. her? Fireworks! Hit her with some fireworks! fireworks. <laughs> 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 X Men shit. Uh, I was just gonna say, I think oh, long hair them. would really bring out her oh, eyes. Oh, that's a real yeah, one. That, right that's there. Dev. I hit long, the stuff. Long hair would, would broke up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Long hair. What about you? What would you? Thank you. Move on. Um, I would say everyone looks better with the tan, so maybe just get some color in your skin. Oh shit. Oh. That's not like personal. Like, I'm black. Everyone's... Do I get? A, do I need a tan? If you want a tan. Oh, <laughs> if you want to. If I want to. All right. I can't tan. I can't tan anymore, bro. That was fun. Okay, uh, this is from Soldier oh, for Christ. We are at war. Oh, this guy. I love this he guy. He goes, based on the evidence already shown, there's minimum reasonable doubt based on American standards with women saying they aren't victims, near victims, and right. no women are were victims. Free top G. Yes, bro. Fuck yes. Facts. Okay, Gabriel Contador goes, uh, shout out FNF and Sneeko for being genuine people and living up to the standards they set. You can't fake it. It's awesome to meet you guys today. I will be at the one mil party. Hey, right, bro. Shout out Gabriel. Awesome. Or did he mean 10 mil party? W. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, Damn, for the ladies, I, I would like to know a time you did something dead wrong without being able to rationalize or justify your action. Okay. Oh, wow. Dominating 31. Psych accountability. So basically, he wants to know in a nutshell, what have you done that you have a ticket accountability for? Could be fucking up a car's ex, sorry, ex's car, or just telling lies or doing whatever. Or fucking their ex. There you go. Give us one example. Um... Okay, so no. I crashed my parents' car. Yes. A lot, but like I didn't really Multiple know times. Not like crashed it, but like bumped it into a lot of things. Mm. Jesus Christ. Do you have a license? <laughs> no. No. Hell no. No license. So you're nope. driving without a license and we're crashing. Dropped cars out of college. Places. This girl is probably is That's fun. Michigan though, bro. Like that's how they do it. That's <laughs> Wait, how they do it in Michigan. Did you ever tell the person? No, she said dropped out of high school. <laughs> they did it? Um, well, I'm the only one who drove the car, so they just knew it was me. <laughs> You know, I didn't really have to. Okay, through. fantastic. I love it. Wow. What about you, Miss Goody Two Shoes? I'm not good. Um, uh, oh, oh, we know. We know. Yeah, 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 that, that, that was a joke. Uh, I can't think of anything. Can you guys come there back to is. me? There it no, is. There it is. I'm serious. That's Can you guys point. come back to me? Stupid. All right. <laughs> what about you? We are going to come back, so you better think of son. Jubilee, drop it for What's us, baby. Canadian tuxedo. Uh, um, I probably drank most if not all of like my parents liquor in high school like Obvious. i would just like <laughs> thank you no 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 that was him that was him that was him that's put the mic on you that was me put the on you you, you talk shit that's, him. that's the guy who calls pizza flavors <laughs> <laughs> what flavor was that pizza oh, shit. <laughs> <That's stupid>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so you just drank all your parents' liquor in high school, yeah. See, oh, that's so parents, terrible. Yeah. Well, it's it's true. I'm just saying. So that's the last time you can remember it to get accountability. Yes. She drank a lot. She, was <laughs> the she drank a lot. Go, 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 all the go, parents. Right. go, go. Uh, what about you, Palestine? Let's hear it. I really can't think of anything. There it is. Oh, there I mean, it is. You're that perfect. You're perfect. You didn't do nothing. No, no, no. Praise the Lord. I'm not. I'm not. 
But okay. I really, really can't, like, truly right now. The Catholic from Palestine has spoken. <laughs> Hold on. You've had three years off and on, right? No. It's finally official. Yeah, there's something. Ooh, something something, something happened between us and the time that you weren't caught up before. Fresh? No, it was never on and off. It was... Stop the cat. So what was it then? What was, like, my relationship? Yeah. It was just a committed relationship. That's... That you're still in, correct? Yeah. You had issues, right? No. She she, she right, doesn't man. she doesn't have any him, symptoms of being a hoe, in my opinion. Dude, those are the worst. Anyhow, hotels. <laughs> You're the expert, fresh. I'm telling you. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I live in Pennsylvania, and no, you it don't. snows. I guess I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and it snows a lot. So my parents have a business, and I would drive there, and I park in the back, and like her workers' cars would be there, and my car would slip and hit someone's car all the time. <gasps> But I would just try to gaslight them and be like, it wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> and like, the cameras don't angle down towards it. Oh. So I would be like, why would that be me? Like, why would I do that? I'm a great driver. I've never crashed a car. Oh, my oh, God. man. Wow. So if she cheats, she's never getting caught. Hell no. Period. Hey, so All right. Okay. What about you? Um, I. This is where lifestyle catches up to you because I cannot think of anything. How about the bull ring? What about the bull ring? Bad decision. You tell me. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely a bad decision. Mm. Definitely a bad decision. See, she's not taking That's accountability. Why you fantasize it hanging above your face. No. Yes. Not yeah. a chance. I, I think so. Actually, she's I do staring, when I'm you know, staring at me. hanging over the toilet about to hurl. <laughs> I fantasize. I fantasize about the bull ring. Use it as lube. Do you ever get boogers in the bull ring? That's a good question. Really just just answer it. the question. Does it, does it, does really it, like, she's so freaking it, pretentious. She's. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Just answer the question, yes or no. Do you get dingleberries in your asshole? So the answer I is yes. You first. Oh. I asked you first. Oh, wait, that, I and I don't have a hairy asshole. I'm sorry. I was warned about cussing my back. That's all right. I don't have a hairy <laughs> asshole. So now, so, 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 so now yeah, my, my, don't, don't you worry about my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's a yes. Criminology. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Justice system at work here. I'm pretty much chilling most of the time. The worst thing I did was probably smoke a joint in my mom's living room and was too lazy to clear it out before she <gasps> went inside. I can't believe it. Yeah, mom, I'm smoking weed that. in here. <laughs> That's I'm crazy. Ha- I'm Haitian. That that was risking my life. <laughs> oh, like, man. but yeah. Are you raised in Haiti? No. It's so funny how girls will say I'm Haitian and they and and so they assume that that they have the Haitian culture. But You're... it's like pale Creole, like eat the food, like. Whole household, is but like, you weren't raised in Haiti. No, but okay. I'm, I'm Haitian. All right, all right. Can, can I say something? Just letting you know. Good. The question was, when was the last time they took accountability, or they they had trouble taking accountability for something? Right. Yeah. Uh, None of them <laughs> brought up a time nope. where they didn't take accountability for something in a relationship with a man. And oh, I know every uh, single girl yes. has done that. Yep. Hell yeah! Thank you. I smoked weed. I drank liquor. Everybody does that. <laughs> Very interesting. Hello, we didn't forget you, sweetheart. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta come we didn't up. Forget you. Uh, who was he, or who were they? Honestly, I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, oh that is oh, wow. yeah, oh, right. at all. Break out the rating, Myron. What's up, bro? This exercise demonstrates exactly why women are in the fucked up position. A lot of time they are because they don't take accountability for their actions, bro. Like women have a very hard time saying I'm wrong. Saying I fucked up, I made a mistake here, etc. Because men rarely hold women accountable. Well, I'll tell you we what, never tell them they're shit. dumb. We never tell them that was stupid. We never we tell, never them, tell they're them they're wrong. fat. We never tell them they're fat. We never tell them anything <laughs> wrong with them. And I think that's why so many so girls have an issue with being like self-critical and saying, "Damn, I fucked up here. I should have done this or I should have done that." Because women are rarely held accountable for their Wait actions. For Do you guys agree with that or no? That mm. women are rarely held accountable for their actions. I don't think that's true. Are you of serious? course you don't. Really? Let me ask you I this. Don't. Let me ask you this. Why were you two hundred pounds? Um, Popeyes. I don't know. So I like. I'm Haitian. Hold on. Yeah, right. <laughs> I I don't know. Like diet contributes to it. Jeans. I don't know. Like I don't. Yes, you do. Diet and jeans. Nick, you just out. couldn't stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, if I want to eat, I'm gonna eat. Like if you I want to hey, eat, you, you want to know why I'm a fat ass right now? Because I got lazy. Mm. Now you go. Take accountability. Go. Three, two, one. Go on. You can do it. Popeye's chicken. I was eating good. I was healthy. What were you eating? What's your Wait, well, Hold on. Hold on. You can't be healthy at 200 pounds, sweetie. How tall are you? Five, three? Five, five. But 200 pounds at five, five is bad. That's not healthy. It's like a linebacker. What the fuck? I'm six foot three and I'm 200 pounds. 
I'm right. just painting yeah. a picture for later, thing? baby. Like, like the fantasies in their heads are just bro. Right. Yeah. She is all about the fantasy. She thinks we're fantasizing about fucking fat chicks with yeah, right. yo. She's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you just that's notice? Move. That's our move. What the hell just happened? Like, yo, seriously. Like, he said I was fat because I ate too much and I didn't exercise. I was being lazy. She says I was eating good. And I was just she chilling. She had like, you see how women dress up their bullshit with yeah. dumbass w- wordplay versus saying, no, I was just being a lazy piece of shit and I didn't want to exercise. And I was but it, like, said, what do you, I was like a kid. Like I lost the weight as soon as I was coming in. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. I was just good. asking you to take that's accountability good. for being a fat ass. Like this, you're, you're proving my point. Okay. Women don't take I was accountability. a fat kid. I was a fat kid. And why? Why? Kid. why? 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 Mama, because I liked snacks and because your ass could not stop eating. That's why. <laughs> right. That's why I was eating enough. Okay. All right. That's so thank so you. Long for so my statement again was just proven literally by you. I said women have a tough time taking accountability because we don't tell them the truth and they rarely get held accountable for their actions. I, I don't agree with that. Then proceeds well, to not take accountability. Have, so hold on, Amazing. Hold on. I am triggered. I'm triggered right now because uh, MLD just body shamed me. Very, very true. I, actually, I felt really bad after I said that. It was the, it was the vodka. Well, to be honest, though, now you're not taking accountability. <laughs> you can make fun of my legs. They're like chopsticks. Yo, <laughs> I will say to the ladies' defense, though, right? They will admit one thing: that they're a bad bitch. Real okay, shit. On. Wait, 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 real quick. I just gotta ask the girls: Do you think women to take accountability for their actions? Yes. Uh, well, oh, now you're switching. Up. I'm asking. Uh, she was. She couldn't keep it in. She's like, now. Do you think women take accountability for their actions? Yes. I mean, wasn't that entire question about a time that we? didn't take accountability and we had such a hard time coming up with when we did not take accountability that literally that you literally contradicted yourself i don't think so i think you did i think the the question well, is hold on now you're gonna tell me i'm fantasizing we... about this right is that, is that the move oh you're fantasizing about women not taking accountability. About women. Right, right. you fantasize about combative right. situations absolutely say again you fantasize about combative situations absolutely bingo that's yeah. why i'm here <laughs> All right, you said you don't think women take accountability. I don't. Okay. She really <laughs> Damn. Don't. I'm she, not gonna lie. She's not lying. lying. She's I, not, I, don't, I would rather right. not say. I like it. Do you think women I take like accountability, it. Miss? I can't name something I did wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you think women in general take accountability? Come even on, though teachings? you couldn't even take accountability. Um, not all. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Huh? Nigga, you know damn well y'all don't take accountability. Just, <laughs> just say, no, women don't take accountability. Just say it. It's just you. Well, now that you guys brought it up, like, I feel like I could think of times, like, when you talked about, like, um, like being a kid and being, like, fat, whatever. So that, being a kid? I think so. Come I think so. on. What the fuck? We're not talking about her. We're not talking about her. No, because, like, when she brought up how like she thought or like how she said that she used to be fat, like that is something I took accountable for when I was a kid too. So, but when we asked you to take accountability for it, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Well, but when we asked you to take accountability, yeah, because I didn't think of it, but I do take accountability for that. <laughs> what in the fuck, nigga? Yo, all right. Do you think women <laughs> take accountability in general? No. No. Fantastic. Do you think women take accountability in general? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yes, oh some? God. Oh no. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, we got Cal L, 100, uh, 100 bucks here from Canada. It goes, much love from Canada. Uh, big appreciation and thank you to John MLD, a.k.a. Supreme Leader, Donovan, Mamba Mentality Games, and Prince of Barbados for changing men's lives for the better. Across the globe, shout out to our podcast producer, MVP Chris, and sound engineer, MVP Mo. Shout out to you, my sir. No EMO. No EMO. Fresh, how many bodies are we pulling up to the party with? Well, however, uh, many do come. Just remember <laughs> that if any of them want to ride home, they got to see me first. We're too damn for that Rolls Royce to give out free rides. That's from Fresh to BBC. Yo, is there somebody in here? <laughs> no. Nah, somebody asked me earlier if I knew who it was, bro. I think it's that person. Oh, shit. Well, all right. Well, now this, to who done it, we're going to find out. This case <laughs> is against the Tates and all real men with the idea that a woman with complete freedom to come and go with her phone doors open is a victim of uh, human trafficking because her man is in charge of the money. Therefore, now free. Yeah, I know it's wild, bro. My wish ask the crazy. panel if they think about Andrew Tate if he's guilty or innocent. No, we did yeah, already. We did the, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. No, yeah. Sorry. No. Okay. 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 Well, they, I, I, do anybody? Do you guys know who Andrew Tate is? Just out of curiosity, on the panel, mm-hmm. everybody. Mm-hmm. Snow. Do you know? Dude, nobody doesn't know who Andrew nope. Tate is. Yeah. You oh, do. Yeah, I do, I do. You do. So everybody does except for Jubilee. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. Do you have a smartphone? Yeah. Yeah. She's she, capping. She, she knows who he is. She keeps on blowing it up with fireworks. Yeah. yeah. She knows. She knows who he is. <laughs> All right, guys. The best pussy is the kind that gets very strong or- orgasms. It takes you under ten minutes to get them cough. Right. Women, is this you, or do you need 30-plus minutes to get off because Damn. you are desensitized? Oh, okay, uh, I guess we can go around the table on this one real quick. Do you get off very quick, or do you need a lot to get off for you? Um, 
It depends on the partner. I oh, guess. that's true. Okay. So if you're into them, it's easier. But if you're not, I, I like a fresh. It's like, yep, I have experience in this department. <laughs> hey, man, I'm mad at God. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, what about you? Is it a lot of you to get off, or do you, uh, do, do you need, like, uh, you know, time and foreplay and all that other stuff, or you're it, just... You... It depends on if your partner knows what they're doing or not. And the whole desensitized shit, that's... Okay, sorry for cussing. No, you're um, fine. Go ahead. It's okay. But the desensitized thing, that's such a, like, poor excuse for your inability to get your girl off. Because yeah, here we go. Because this and my toy get me off in the exact same amount of time. That proved my point. And how, here we go. How, how much time is that? Like 30 seconds. Oh, that's why you fight with dogs. Get your toys, ladies. <laughs> get your toys. <laughs> All right, what about you? I'd say a while. Okay. What about you? Um, I also think that it depends on the partner as well. Okay, let's say they are attracted to the guy. Does it still take a while? Hot guy that you met at the club. Uh, is it going to take you a while? No. How long does your boyfriend? Wait, hold on. Does the hot guy at the club know what he's doing? Dick. Wait, wait. How long does it take your boyfriend to do it? I would prefer not to answer that. Oh, <laughs> that means never. <laughs> <laughs> that means never, bro. Yeah. Okay. What about you? No. No. Okay, what? from dudes, not chicks. No. You don't get off from that. Okay, you use toys no, and stuff. It's it's not hard for me to get myself going. Right. Yeah, but what about with a dude? Is the question. Okay, that's a no. All right, fantastic. What about you? <laughs> Foreplay should not be 10 minutes. At all. <laughs> yeah, how long should it be? How long should it be? It should be 20 seconds? At least Shit. 25 minutes. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. If this is your girl, if this is your girl, minutes. and like you mess with her, like whatever she says should go. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Well, she's, why? 19. she's 19. You should, why? You know. No. Why, why 25 you minutes. I got shit to do. Yeah, man, shit. I'm trying to be in and out in under 10. So, 25 are you saying the woman is supposed to lead the, the sexual life. situation with the guy? What's your body what count? Is, is it my body count? Yes, yes. Why does it matter? She's not going to tell the truth no. anyway. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, well, just lie to me. What's your body count? One. So it's yeah. like 17. Huh? 17. No. Oh, that means it's more, bro. Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. What um, anyway, what I was saying was um, <laughs> who should lead in the bedroom, the man or the woman? The woman. Whoever's down. <laughs> whoever's like, listen, whoever's like really started it and like wants to keep going is the one that should lead. Like, it doesn't matter. There's not roles of whether there who is. starts it. Whatever you want to do is whatever you want to do. And sex, no. It's whatever you want to do with your partner. 25 nobody eating pussy for so, 25 so there's, so there's not no. roles. Yeah, yeah, no. is not there's not roles. So you're telling me that you can smash the dude every now and then too? No, that's not what I'm talking about. Ooh, I'm talking about foreplay. Said. What do you define as foreplay for 25 minutes? Foreplay can be anything. It can be... Like head, it can be touching. It can touching be touching where playing Yahtzee. Where else would it be? It could be anywhere. Whatever. On your koji. Yeah. <laughs> so like anywhere. touching your nipples with my fingers is that foreplay? That's considered foreplay. So you want twenty five minutes of that combined with other shit? There's multiple things you can do. Yeah. I don't think I could do that for twenty five minutes, bro. You're not yeah. doing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they're picking it apart. What about you? Yeah, because your argument. That's sucks. what we do. Yeah. But anyway, uh, what about you? Uh, We're trying you, to. Does it take you. a lot for you, or you get off quick? I get with off quick with the dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's um, 19. That'll change. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want to say this because you guys, a couple of you guys have been saying, oh, the woman's uh, ejaculation, whatever. I'm under the impression that a woman coming isn't really that important. Facts. And the reason why I say that <laughs> oh, is because. I, yeah. <laughs> and, and hold on. Let me, let me uh, make my point here. Misogyny. I'm not saying that a guy shouldn't strive to do it. But if he chooses to do it, it should be elective. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because it's the woman's job to please a man, God not the other right. way around. Yeah. Because we have to do a lot to get the sex. Yeah. You guys on their hand, just you guys get a bunch of benefits from being with the guys. So you're telling me you want me to pay the bill, be more attractive, tall, go to the gym, be a, the, the top guy, and, and rub your titties for 25 minutes. And rub your no, titties for sorry. 25 minutes. <laughs> when you bring nothing to the table besides boxing, some pussy, and uh, some titties, realistically, that's because that's what most girls bring. Misogyny. I think in general, right, like the woman should be pleasing the man, actually, because let's be honest here, girls get off on their guy getting off Bingo. if that's she true. likes him. If that's she right. likes him. If he's a loser, that's one thing, bitch. I need to come too. But if you actually like the guy, you respect him and shit, him coming is more important than you coming because him coming validates you. Mm. That's right. This is funny. If if you have sex with a woman and you like it's it's the two scenarios. So let's say a guy and a girl have sex and 
you know, he's bla- he's blasting loads all over the place. That's that that's scenario A. Scenario B is he's fucking the dog shit out of her. She comes, but he doesn't. If she comes and he does not, the world stops for the woman. Because just like you said, 95% of a woman's <laughs> sexual satisfaction is based on the man's satisfaction. Yeah. Whether you whether you know it, agree to it or not. That's just how it is. I'll be honest. If you can't make your guy, guy come, you're fucking Something's useless wrong. as a girl. Something's wrong. You're useless yeah. as a woman. Yeah. I mean, oh. I mean Real shit. remember the cheap robot? Like the cheap robot doesn't talk crazy. and it just goes like Wait, this. Why, why is it crazy? I'm not, I'm not, how am I crazy? Go ahead, tell me. Be- why would you pick a woman that you think that lowly of? Like that. That's- What's lowly? What what I, lowly? I never said. I'm not, I never said I pick her. I'm saying if a girl can't make her man come, she's virtually useless to her man. But why? Was Literally she, like, useless. I mean, like that's a good part of the relationship. Like that's obviously necessary. Sweetie, that's for a like lot of tw- that's that's se- that's seventeen. Let me ask you a better question. Why do men talk to women? Because they have some sort of interest. We want to fuck, but, but why? Hold on, but why though? You think she <laughs> looks good? Okay, or but like... what? Why? Why do men deal with women in the first place? Okay. Trying to get pussy. Yeah. Okay. So if, if, if men are trying to get pussy and that is the predominant reason they talk to you and you cannot give them an ejaculation, wouldn't that be fair to say that you're useless? So that trash man, yeah. Oh, now why, it's why is he trash. Oh, here we go. Because a woman should be more to you than her body parts, than her vagina. Oh, that is why men deal whole. with women in the first place. Bingo. Okay, That's, but you should yeah. want a woman that you can build with. Like, if you really want empire, oh, if you want to oh, be an alpha man. Empire, like, man. How about I give you this secret? Women don't build, they move in. Boom. Oh. She could build me a sandwich. But, like, <laughs> you Don't should... let her, goddamn it. Okay, but a real woman's gonna be able to take a house and make a home and build on to what whatever's already. But there. you built the house though. She just came in and decorated. Women don't build; they move in. I'm serious, and then they decorate. And, and they and t- they add on very well. Very decorating nicely. is important. We talked about that. That's they listen. organize. They because they look like shit before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. But which one is more important though? The sandwich. You can't do it without either. Yes, you yes, can. You can. Yes, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the house is built. Look, look, I, you can't have decorations without the house. Decorate this cardboard box, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you need both to make a good unit. I can decorate a house on my own, or I can just hire an interior decorator. But then who's going to really organize the household? Interior decorator. Interior. I'm some, talking about like not, women are not just throwing up decoration. Some women organize. They pay the bills on time. They pick up the kids. Ain't nobody paying my bills. That. Right. You know, this is interesting. What 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 this is illustrating, what this is illustrating, and a lot of people don't realize this, is that there is nothing that modern women offer to men that we can't outsource. If a man wants sex, he can buy it legally or otherwise. If he wants somebody to cook, he can hire a professional chef. If he wants somebody to clean his house, he can hire a maid. There is no amount of money a woman can pay a man to retire her. Yeah. But how many men can virtually like actually afford that? I can. But that's not all men. You're right. But You're it's right. the men you want. It's the men you want. <laughs> oh. Yes, it is. Who said that? Yes, it is. The man I want wouldn't need that because they see the value in having a loving woman who's there for them every day who will add on to their... Do you have a man life. right now? No, I do not. You heard I don't that's have a right. man. I, I, I do. I, I kind of see where she's coming from. Exactly. But they do also do make sandwiches at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> for like five bucks. So there it is. So, hold on. So five why do you and your last man break up? No. Uh-oh. Um, if you're so like you well in doubt in terms of like pleasing your man, why do you guys break up? She cheated. Niggas are crazy. No, uh, you and like why are niggas, niggas crazy? Because girls make them crazy. Bingo. Ooh. How did I make that man? I'm not crazy? saying you. Yeah. You, you can tell by the way she's smiling. This is so funny. <laughs> okay, okay. So, hey, who cheated first? You or him? Nah, I don't cheat. Oh, I didn't get cheated on. Not the cap. How do you know? Because. Because. I'm Haitian. Because I'm Haitian. <laughs> She didn't shoot him, she stabbed him. Hell yeah, we're gonna shoot him. Real shit. Shout out to the Zold, man. She's not. No, my bad. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, we got here. I'm just curious. How many girls in here want to be a wife? Just raise your hand if you want to be a wife. She's a nurse, so yes. All of you? Sure. I'm helping no. her. No, you're right. You said you're over that. Dude, she's got yeah, a bull ring and a tattoo, bro. She does not want to be a wife. What about you? No wife? I was a wife for eight years. And But you're not now. On my terms. Do you never exactly. want to be a wife? You never want to be a wife again? Of course not. Bull ring no, and a tattoo. So. No. Do you want to just no. stay single? I would, uh, I would do a ceremony without the legal papers. Okay. Oh, so you, so okay. you do want to be a wife again? 
No, if that's what my partner wanted, and I was willing to compromise on that to give my partner happiness, it doesn't matter. So you're willing to submit to a man, okay? Who said it had to be a man? Oh god! Oh god! Oh, you're so cool because you switched (laughs) switched it. Are are you? Are you? She's also a Palestinian Catholic woman. (laughs) Oh no, that's her. That's her. (laughs) MLB is getting MLB is three two sheets to the wind. Are are you a lesbian now, or are you bisexual? I'm bisexual. Okay. (sighs) So realistically speaking, if you had to pick one gender for the rest of your life, what would it be? Would it be a man or a woman? Oh, good question. Don't be woke. Just keep it real. Keep it a thousand. I know you've been saying a bunch of man-hating stuff, but you can say a man. It's okay. I don't hate either gender. I'm just kidding. Yeah, of do. course you don't. Which, Every you gender, gender would have you, their issues. If you could pick one to be in a long-term relationship with for the rest of your life, who's it going to be, a man or a woman? I'd have to think about it. What, what What's going on here? She said she was a wife for eight years, um, which, is, which is fine. I don't like to choose, though. Like, it's such an overused question to ask a bisexual person but which do you prefer i'm pretty sure that's the point of being bisexual because i don't have a preference oh you're so clever and smart (laughs) (laughs) here's the thing the reason why i ask that question is overwhelmingly when i ask this question it's typically always a man and the reason why it's always a man is because men have to bring value and utility to a relationship whereas women don't And, and what someone's gonna say something? No, I'm just reading the chat. Oh. This is gonna be so hilarious. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know the chat's crazy. So what I've realized is that when women are in relationships where they're lesbian or maybe they're bisexual, they go on a date with a girl and they split it and they realize, oh well, you know, we're both in charge of protecting each other and all this other stuff. And girls kind of get tired of that because it, you know, uh, I guess female-only relationships have high rates of domestic violence. Not the same yeah, satisfaction, I've been et cetera. on dates with plenty of women, and most of those women pay for me. Okay, you're the exception, and oh, all the God. rules don't so, work anymore. Yeah, so wait, they all paid for you? Yeah. On the first date? Yeah. Okay, so you think if you got in a relationship with them, they would continue to pay for you? The answer is no. Why? Because women don't do well with providing resources for other people in general. Can you tell me more about your lesbian relationships? Oh, you know God. Well, oh, yes, you just don't know. It's not about being in a lesbian relationship. It's that I know that women have a very difficult time providing resources and taking care of someone that isn't their own child only. That's who they, that's the I'm only people sure a lot of women take with. care of men like they're their fucking child. And yeah, that's and, those a yeah losers. <laughs> and those relationships never last. Yep. Nope. It, never it lasts. always ends. It which always proves my ends. point. So women can't do it long term. Girls are very stingy with their resources, which they should be. It should go to their children. But women are not going to support another grown adult, man or woman. That's why I've come to realize from, man, I'm studying. I'm writing you got a book about you guys right now. It's called Why Women Deserve Less. I break this down. Mm. What, what's what, what, what's, what's happening <laughs> What's happening here is, is she would have us believe that she is not a wife because she chooses to be. She wants us to think that the decision has made has been made by her, but the decision has been made for you. Mm, no. Because I don't want to give a man children, of course and you don't. men who want wives want children. True enough, not but something men, I'm willing to do. I understand. I understand, but men who want wives would not want you. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, you're just so, just so, just so clever. Thank God. I don't want a man. I don't need a man. I'm sorry. Oh, I have I'll a rebuttal for everything you say. <laughs> say again. They're gonna. I'm fuck sorry. After I have the a show. rebuttal for everything. They're gonna fuck. Yeah, two, uh, two rebuttals. Oh no, that is definitely not fucking happening. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, should be you, you, do, okay. Do okay. So real quick, who here wants to be a long term relationship? With a man, I want at some work. point. Raise your hand, MLD. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right so all the girls are at the table. You know what? Let's play a game here, folks. Uh oh. All right, Chris, you triggered my trap card. Oh, no. You know right now. Bring on the Instagrams, bro. Yep, have it already. Oh. oh okay, ladies. Oh, shit. Time here we go. So we got two ladies on the panel that don't want to be wives. Understandable. Who? The rest of you don't want to be wives. Uh, this lady here and this lady here in yellow. Jubilee and Snow. Yeah, but the rest of you. Let's see. You qualify to be a wife. Oh, well, your Instagram yeah. standards. Oh, 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 oh boy. Who's so that's too fine. Who's this? That is the lady right here. Who's Brazilian? Oh, okay. her? The, so 25 year old? Uh, 25 wife, minutes? A wife, right? Wait, stop Let's see your page. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Let's come down your page real quick. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, haram. Okay. She haram. got the titties out. No. So, chat, y'all tell me, bro. Haram. You went from haram? <laughs> Off of these pictures alone? And whose house is that? Diddy's. Uh, I can't say. <laughs> Whose house is that over there? <laughs> oh, that's not a house. That's a, um... a penthouse. Yeah. That's, <laughs> her, that's hers, bro. She's unemployed. She pays for that. <laughs> what the? F- Can you guys check, 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 the score. Check the score. Oh, 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 oh she, yeah. she's unemployed. Oh, look at that. It's her. It's, it's, it's her. Oh, it's her unemployment check. Yo, yo. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. Says take the score. I'm up four. Four dollars. Somebody said you got paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo, all right. Uh, Unemployment balcony. So, niggas in the chat, give me a one in the chat if you would wife her. Give me a two in the chat if y'all would not wife her. All right. One in the chat if y'all would wife. Two in the chat if y'all would not wife. Let's see. You're going to get a, We got uh, almost 12,000 people watching Chris, right now. Let's see what they life. say. Chris, oh, you're life. getting a bunch of twos. Oh, shit. Chris, oh, life, life. Life. Life, life, uh, life. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. So I think you need to improve your Instagram if you want to get wifed up because uh, overwhelming twos here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, GC? The club GC? Oh, hell right. no. Damn. Rest yeah. In peace. Yeah, I ain't see the thing way, me. See, see, look, 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 I like the desserts. Now, see the back kid me, like, yo, what's, what's up with the desserts? Okay. What's up with the cake, right. though? So, I will go ahead and I'm going to give you an honest assessment here of why everyone is giving you a two they would not wife. Number one, you're on a boat. Anytime you're on a yacht, that means you got got. What are uh, we doing tomorrow? And then you got bikini. Well, <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> is an event. Okay. Oh, okay this okay. is a regular night yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. water. You Tomorrow's you're... yacht is another yacht you don't own. <laughs> 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 and then you got a bikini photo, scroll down. Oh my god. And then here you're on some dude's balcony because we know you ain't paid for that apartment. Yeah, sir. That's that looks like right. Fresh's balcony. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Come on now. And then, uh, I moved, okay? And then keep going, keep going. Uh and then you got more bikini photos, that more dude. dirt straps. Uh, and then here you are in some dude's penthouse. Uh, and then let's see here. Because we know, we, know, we know that's not a dude. Uh, that's not your penthouse. More thirst traps, selfies. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is a uh, definitely. Um, so, yeah. So I want to ask you the question. If a guy saw your page, should he wait for you up? I don't think you should judge me on my Instagram page. Oh, wow. Oh, that's oh, that is so convenient. That is so convenient. That is so, awesome. No, because most guys are going to meet me in person. They're not going to be like, oh, let me look at your Instagram. If no, I can well, most you guys are not no. going to meet you in person, but though. To be honest with you, right? We're all on social media. Let's say a guy, yeah. guy damns you. You look at his page. What do you do? What do you like? look at his page and judge him off of that? You would, I right? don't judge their Instagram pages. Stop, Stop, the, cat. Stop. 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 the cat. Stop the cat. Stop the cat. I don't. Stop the cat. I don't care about Stop like what you post. I want to see like who you are. Stop really? the cat. Yeah, Stop really. Out of here, man. Yo, anybody here watching the show right now, just damn her, bro. She don't care about your, about your page. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's, yeah. Up, hey, but she's up four, though. She's up Remember four. That. Right. Remember that. All okay. Right. Uh, who's up next? Who's up next? Who's up next? Uh, all right. This is, uh, oh, no, she don't want to get away. <laughs> oh no no no! Haiti Haiti wants to get wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Misha, let's, let's pull this up. Hey yo. Uh, hey yo. Chris, make it bigger. Hey yo. Yeah, make it bigger, nigga. This nigga, the Henny hitting him. All right, all right. Uh, let's see here. So okay, we scroll. All right, there's a seeing our weight loss. Uh, yeah, good for you on the weight loss. Uh, who the fuck is a nigga with the do rag down here? <laughs> 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 Yo, all right, scroll, scroll back. Who the fuck is that nigga? All right, go, go back up. Yo, <laughs> that, yo, that dude looks weird. All right, hey, shout out for the weight loss though. Showing the yeah. titties there, uh, and then honestly, mm, this isn't that bad. This, it, it, We're nice and wholesome. Yeah, right no yachts. I mean, no yachts, no tattoos. Just girlfriends, you know. The hair hat might disqualify you, but question for you. Know. Question for you. Who took this picture here? No one, uh, no one. one shot Miami. Okay, so per, okay. All right, you know what? This isn't this isn't that bad. Hold on, go to the highlights. Let's get let's catch your lacking, man. So far, so good. Never catch me lacking. Let's catch your lacking, man. Let's go. Does your mama follow you on Instagram? No, she does not. No. Wait, your mom? She mm. said, "Bitch, I'm a mother." Are, are you at a table? Is that a table? <laughs> Yeah, that's not a table. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, oh, wait, not like that. It was bro, a regular table. Regular table. We didn't even know who that is. Who the fuck is this dude? That's your so Jake 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 friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake friend. We figured. We figured. Yeah, yeah okay. we, we knew Sergio okay. wasn't it. She ain't that bad, man. She ain't that bad. All right. All right. You know what? Uh, okay. Let right. me get my stuff from your page. Love okay. You. All right. Love you for you. Let's move on. Let's move on. Hillary Snow will still be here. Is that oh, you? Oh no, she don't want to get wife. That's my hair page. Yeah, she okay. don't want to get wife. So who cares? She came for the right. free promo. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, account is private, huh? Private. Uh -oh. nah. Nah. No face, no peace. She belongs to the streets. Nah, see, uh, you know what's funny? Oh, private cones, right? 
They're hiding something. Yeah. That's I'm right. not hiding anything. But open it for us then. Open she it. got a boyfriend. I don't have my phone. Oh, go! Bring your phone! Bring your phone! Bring your phone! Bring your phone! that shit up. We, we want to see. We want to see the yachts. Who's that? There is no yachts. Uh, that's, that's Chicago. You look different, bro. <laughs> is that a different? <laughs> <laughs> is that true? No, actually, <laughs> the one right in the middle. That looks like her. All right, let's scroll like down. Uh, okay, she want to be uh, wiped up. Let's see. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Up, and up, yep, up, that's it. up, oh shit, that's here we it. go. Oh, yep, up, yep, 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 yep. Is that yeah. Palestine? That's all she wrote. Yeah, this is, this is Palestine. Palestine. Uh, blocker. Super Damn, she <laughs> almost had it. Okay. Almost had it. Um, yeah. Uh, for, I mean, don't you have a boyfriend? Wait, go to travel. Ah. Go to travel. Yeah. Go this, to travel. This profile looks like you're this single. Is where, this yeah. is where and here's is. the other, hold on, here's a big red flag. Where's the boyfriend? <laughs> You've been with him for three years and he's nowhere on your profile. That's mm. crazy. Damn. He's in my highlights. Oh, on your man. highlights? Yeah, he's the one taking the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yo, this shit never fails, bro. You have all the, you have, because here's the thing. You got a couple thirst trap photos here. Uh huh. But your boyfriend is nowhere to be seen, dude. Wait, hold on, hold on. He's right next to there. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah right there. Go yeah. ahead. Let me see. He got a whole highlight. No, no, there. right here. Sorry. Yeah, no. right there. The heart, the heart, the heart, the heart, the heart. <laughs> see, uh, you see, uh, that's like niggas are going to notice that. They're not going to. And she showed oh, him. Look, she oh, showed him. She went right away from him. Yeah. Yes, sir. Feel you know this dude. Fifty-three weeks ago. Yeah. What the fuck? Wait, wait, is, he, is this guy your boyfriend? Because he looks like he doesn't even know you. No, he's like, is he Pakistani or, or Indian? He is Indian. That nigga looks Indian. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Fifty-three weeks ago, bro. A year ago. A year okay, ago. let's go. Hit the next uh, next one, Chris. So she 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 moves that shit away from him quick. Yes, she does. And then, okay, blurry picture. We no one even know knows. Is, yeah. And then next next slide. <laughs> Why are you not showing this nigga face? Oh and God. then next, next. Okay, and then. Everything is he turns back. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. We don't know what this dude looks like. Yeah. Like, next, next, like. next, next, next. Okay, let's see if she shows him in here. Start shot? Uh, oh. No. Oh. <laughs> yo, yo, what yo, the fuck, yo. Yo. That's the oh only one that kind of shows him, and that shit is from fifteen weeks him. ago. Hey, hey, it's funny. Bro. That's like if you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Illuminati, when you're like this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, like yo. Okay. Hey, hey, listen. Right, she unlocked it. Zero accountability on that one, right yo. there. Zero accountability. Here's the thing, man. She unlocked it, yo. I've oh. said it before. I'll say it again. This might be controversial. But when a girl doesn't post her boyfriend like that, it means she doesn't respect him. She belongs to the streets. That's what it means. Oh, no. It means, open. that's, because here's the thing. When a girl is with a guy that she really admires, respects, and wants to be with, posting like she's posting that nigga everywhere, bro. Yeah. But when a girl don't post her man, she got only pictures of herself and pictures of herself showing up, like, look at how hot I am, bro. She advertises for a better guy. I will give her one credit point for putting the highlight even there, because that's... Okay, but yeah, it's, but it's so small, bro. Yeah, it's so, uh, you yeah. can't really see the nigga, man. All hey, right, nigga, if you watch the show, like you like that. All right, it's <laughs> open. <laughs> it's finally open, guys. Right, okay, let's see. Melissa here. Fernandez. Yeah, okay, me. let's see here. Oh God. Okay. So I slayed Halloween. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> haram. 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 <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, <laughs> haram. Very haram. <laughs> haram. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Mean, Oh, the Playboy bunny ears. Yep. yep, yep. Oh. Yeah. She belongs to the street. Fantastic. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 Toy Story. It's yeah, Toy Story. And, uh, yeah, Woody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, is that the Dirty Rabbit? That's Jesse, right? I don't know. She didn't know. She just like, like the crotch was missing. Let's go to travel. Let's go to travel. Travel, traveling. Oh. That's my oh. travel. Oh. You can see me. Not be Dubai on that. Here we go. Not oh, be Dubai in this. Porter potty. You sure? Porter potty. All right. Yo, man. Okay, well, Lord, 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 she in New York. Okay, New York. Oh. Now she Georgia, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. Oh, so some nigga flew her out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> some nigga flew her out. Oh, and now she in Miami. Oh. 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 I'm curious. Did you get flown out? Don't no, care. I literally had a layover. Stop the cat. Oh, you had a layover, right? Stop the cat. I, I was going to Maid. Stop the cat. Stop in Atlanta. Stop the cat. You going to Maine? Made in America. Oh, okay. I was like, who the fuck is that? Not I. All right. Bro. Take me to see Benito. <laughs> this girl loves bad bunny. Benito. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny part is she ain't going to that concert by herself. Who took you? Yeah, who you went with? My bestie, Serena. Stop the cat. All right. She and my bestie is right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was unnecessary. <laughs> Stop the cap. All right. All right, man. All right. Uh, Definitely. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. Melissa World. Okay, cool. So let's look at. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, hell oh, hell no. no. Can I say something? Who is that? Can I say something? That's not very Michigan. <laughs> to be fair, before Damn. I came here, I had, <laughs> I had zero posts up, but everyone just thought my account was fake. So I had to throw up some old posts, and that's what's You're up. You're digging a grave. I'm digging my own grave. <laughs> So these were. This was a long time ago. Is that was that what you're saying? These were all. Oh, you're in on a April. boat. That's it. What uh, you're 19 though, right? She belongs to the street. Yeah. All right, that's fantastic. That's that's fantastic. One boat I, picture disqualifies you. That's yeah, because I know promoters. Like, I'm sure you do. That's a promoter or two. It's I'm not sure like you do. hard sure. to get on a boat out here. Yeah. For you, it's not. I'm, I'm sure it's not. Yeah, that's what we talk about. It's not. She says, "I know a promoter. I bet you know." Any girl can get on a yacht down here. Yeah. Uh, Not any girl. My guys in the chat, right? Uh, if your wife is on Not social any. media and you got any of those p- pictures, k- k- kick her out, bro. Hey, Pogson, real quick, real focus quick. on yourself, King. <laughs> real quick, Pogson, go to go back to Instagram. Go to Hannah Davis. This is Derek Jeter's wife. Okay. This is this is the way a wife's Instagram should look if she's on Instagram at all. And while you pull that up, I guess you guys. I mean, I'm trying to tell you to do the show, but yeah, yeah no, no, no words. We'll pull it up. Okay, I didn't realize that I would be. It would be. Oh, I would be that obvious a spot when I met all of you in person. Shout out to Fresh, who immediately recognized me earlier today, along with Donovan Sharp, MLD, Myron, Chris, and Big Mo. Hit that Don DeMarco. I got you, Don. Yes, sir. Yeah, we were in, in the mall, mall walking go, around go. all the mods and stuff. Shout out to the mods in the chat, man. Discord as well. Shout this this is her Instagram. So this is, let's so this see. is Hannah Davis. Okay. She yes. is Derek Jeter's. Wait, that's not her. Uh, uh, Derek Jeter's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This girl's a stripper. Just, yeah, just go to Hannah. Uh, Davis. Davis. Oh, Chris. Chris. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, where, where are we at now with the chats? Actually, type in Hannah Jeter. It's Hannah Jeter? Yeah. How do you spell Jeter anyway? J-E-T-E-R. What the fuck, Fresh? I don't want sports, nigga. Sound it out, Fresh. Stupid. I know you spell Smith, man. So, Hannah? Yeah, Hannah Jeter. A H J E T E R. There she there is, right up top. This is what a wife's Instagram should look like, right here. Oh wow! This is scroll down. Is it three page? Three no, pictures no, no. only. Oh. That's it. Derek Jeter as a baby. Derek Damn. Jeter the legend. Her and Derek Jeter. Her and Derek Jeter. That is a wife's Instagram. Wow. wow. So much today. Yeah. 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 It didn't look like that before they were together. You know. Uh, you know so no, like, it didn't because you're... she wasn't married. Exactly. Yeah, but notice how he said when you have a man or married or whatever, that's how your profile should look. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's how it should look. But like once I'm in a serious relationship, I won't have my ass on my Instagram, you know? Well, if you have your ass on your Instagram, you probably won't get a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how old is she? How old is she? Hannah Jeter is 32 years old now. Right, 32. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's your next question? She tried to disqualify I mean, but Hannah she's Jeter. like in a, still in a different like generation than I think the takeaway no, here, ladies, the is, is different generation. Yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> Hannah, Hannah Davis was a supermodel, right? And the difference between a, uh, a supermodel and an Instagram model, a, 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 a supermodel and a sex worker, as, as a sex worker, Ooh. as a sex worker, you're, uh, you're marketing to men. As a published model, you are marketing to women. Right. Hannah, da- Hannah Davis Jeter has never, never had a thirst trap picture. Mm. All mm. of her pictures were of Maybelline, you know, Paris, New York, all that good she's stuff. She's a real model. She's, not like she's Instagram a real models. model. Yeah, yeah. 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 She, 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 I, I think she, the takeaway here is if you're with a man in a serious relationship, Palestine, um, you should have pictures with him. Yeah, you laugh it because yo, you know I'm just thinking yo, yo, she took a picture like this. Yeah, bro. Like, what the hell? You know what's crazy? Long distance, right? Oof. Your Uh-oh. man is nowhere to be seen. Uh-oh. I meet you for the first time. Oh, what's your Instagram? Oh, you're a single single. Bet. Let's pull up. <laughs> I'm just saying. Damn, he's going DJ Academics. Oh, wow. She knows, saying, bro. She knows, knows man. She, she, she kind of likes it. Because here's the thing that I've noticed. Girls will come on this panel and be like, I got a boyfriend. Are you looking at their profile? Where? Nowhere to be found. What the fuck? Like, yo. Like, yeah, literally. They thought, they thought. Yeah, they, they, it's, it's, I always look at it like it's hilarious because it's like, yo, it's like a, a card that's been sold, but you still got a for sale sign on it. Woo. Right. Like, it's true. When you go ahead and put all these pictures of your body out there on the internet, like, guys will look at like, oh, my God, she's probably a respectable woman. They're like, oh, that's a slut. I'm going to talk to her. One small correction, <laughs> Myron. It's not a for sale sign. It's a for rent sign. Oh, oh shit. Bam. Because she belongs wow. to the streets. <laughs> Very good. You are learning. You are learning. <laughs> I, it's because she belongs to the streets. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh Just to be fair, though, you have any comments? Um, 
Palestine is a country. <laughs> I mean, she might go back to Palestine after this one. Real time. Oh. She's like, hey, fuck. Uh oh. I was just going to say, cool. I appreciate, I appreciate uh, the learning experience. Okay. She's a good sport. I'm going to get the rocks, nigga. I'm down to the Hello, my boy. All right. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Okay. Okay. All right. The man tells us, the man tells us a significant amount of you need to be more submissive. <laughs> <laughs> he tells, him, he tells him that's an outdated way of thinking. Who's right? Explain. Uh, Dreamer. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Ladies, should a woman be submissive? Yes or no? We'll start right here with uh, I got four. Brazil. I got, uh, she's at four, yeah. Yes. Yeah? Oh, she learned her lesson real mm-hmm. quick. Oh, my God. She learned her <laughs> All right, what about you, Jubilee? Should a woman be submissive? I think she should. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you think a woman should be submissive? Um, Basically, submission to a man. Submission is to a man. That's what they're talking about. Should a woman submit to a man? You look confused, sweetie. I am confused. Why? Is, oh, why what's so what confused about the question? This is a high school dropout from Michigan, <laughs> guys. Oh, oh, man. Fantastic. Sad but true. Oh, what about you? Uh, should a woman submit to a man? Yeah. So if your guy told you, "Yo, I don't like these Instagram pictures," you're taking your Instagram uh, down. What would you say? Oh. Yeah, we actually recently had this conversation. I knew it. I would. We knew it. We knew it. We knew it. Oh. Okay, and, and what, what your Instagram is still up? So clearly, yeah, you still submit, up. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he didn't tell me to do it, but we just came up with a scenario. We or he? We. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, take me through this conversation because I'm confused. <laughs> this is <hard. laughs> No, we were just, like, talking about mental health and social media, and he was just saying that, like, sometimes social media affects him, and I also have that experience, too. And then we were just like, what if we just both didn't have social media? Like, that But would you still have it. Yeah, I know, but we were saying in a what if situation. Oh, yeah, hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I would, um, I would choose my relationship over that. But you're not. I I would in the case I would I would need to. Stop the cap. If you had a backbone. Key is yeah. Key is see. Notice how she said need to. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. He didn't tell her. He didn't say delete that shit right now. Yeah. What if he told you? Maybe he's watching the show right now. He's like, damn, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> and he has that conversation, which is like, yeah, I don't I don't like these pictures. You're sexualizing yourself. This isn't cool. I need you to deactivate your Instagram. What are you doing? I would do it. You deactivate it. Yeah. Good. Stop the cat. Someone in the chat said MLB is fat and loud. Uh, I think you're talking about me, dude. <laughs> like, uh, you gotta get it right. Me yeah. fat? I am not fat. No, you were very, you were very <laughs> lean. MLB. Loud. Very, yes. very, very, very yeah. lean. Very we're also drunk, but we'll continue on. <laughs> <laughs> buzz. I'm buzz. What about, uh, you, like what about buzz. you, Miss Pennsylvania? Uh, should women submit to men? Si. Yeah? Okay. Ooh, that's that's Spanish. Spanish. Wait, what that's about... Espanol. You know Spanish? Si. That's so cool. I'm Dominican. Her last name is okay. Fern- <laughs> Get okay, compai. Ay. Oh, shit. I know that language. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fine show. I think right. uh, <laughs> okay, uh, what about you? Uh, should a woman submit to a man? Oh, I think I know the answer to this one. I, what do you think it is? It's going to be no. I just want to hear your answer, and I'll tell you if I was right or not. <laughs> if a man creates a safe space for a woman to be submissive, that allows her to be submissive, absolutely. Conditional femininity. <laughs> okay. Yep. Con- so you're conditionally submissive yep. to the guy? Conditionally, I don't think that's conditionally. I think that's being a decent Quite literally human being. what you just described was a condition. Being a decent human being? That is not what you said. You said he creates a safe environment for I her to submit to the man. I think being a good human being is, yeah, because if you're a good man, then it's easy to submit. Describe a good man. One who is emotionally intelligent, one who is able to communicate and is open to listening, someone who does not have to have their partner translate the way they need to be loved. You just named four conditions. Thank you. Five conditions. <laughs> Do you just argue to argue? Yes. That's Maybe. why she's single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Okay. Right. This is why I tell you I don't get what girls that are in their 30s, bro. They're stuck in their ways, Real man. Shit. They ain't going to listen, bro. She ain't changing. Yeah, she ain't changing. All right. What about you? Should a woman submit to a man? This should yes. be good. Yes? Yes. You sure about that? Yeah. I'm right. patient. Mm. She's Haitian. I am <laughs> Haitian. Always. Yes, every day. Morning, the, night. The Bumble interesting clap. thing is, is submission is, submission is very simple. It's, it is relinquishing control. That's all it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Red. Yeah. I have a question for the panel just real quick. Um, so, ladies on the panel, give us the best pickup line you ever heard in your life oh and what it was. Oh my God. How it made you feel. This is the best pickup line you heard in your life. 
And we'll start right here. Can I think about it for a second? No, nah, you have plenty of time to think. Last question. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Um... <laughs> look, look. You go to a club, right? She's cool. She's been sport, man. I get talks to you. What's the best pickup line you ever heard? Like, I'll buy you drinks. Or He's like... at a table. That's no, the, that's the no. Line. It's like, it's not like that. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to be like hit on with pickup lines. It's like, I'd rather just have some normal, like, hi, what's your name? Or like, where are you from? Something casual. Something Michigan. Something Michigan. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah. Hi, I'm a Wolverines fan. How about you? Right. Oh, no. So what did they tell you? <laughs> oh, she must be a Michigan State girl. Oh, man. Okay, so when you go out, what did they tell you then? She said, oh, no. It's like, hit on you. Hell. It was so sincere. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> okay, when you go out, right, what do they tell you to like, hit on you? I mean... I have a high school diploma. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, just like, you know, guys being like, you look nice or you're dressed nice or do you want a drink or whatever it may be. Okay, does that work for you? No. Cool. All right. What about it was you? the best pickup line ever, yeah. right? What about you? Um, it's not a pickup line, but I have a section. I like. <laughs> okay, yeah. there it is. Okay, yeah. the table. Oh my god. Simple. Oh, but hey, to hey. the point. And then yeah. I got she's a balcony and I got four hundred dollars. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's up four, baby. Yo, holy! Okay. Okay. Boom, okay. Uh, what about you? I can't remember. I don't just remember the last time a nigga hit on her. Um, honestly, nothing memorable, but I always appreciate like a good uh compliment. The best pickup line for her is do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you? I don't remember a pickup line, but if you're funny. I don't know. I guess so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And your costume sucks, 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 and Toy Story does too. No, it didn't. <laughs> it, it was <laughs> oh, what? She, she got triggered by Toy Story. I like I that. <laughs> Look, I got triggered too. I'm mad at okay. that. Yeah. And for you? Did you touch my drum set? What? what? The fuck? <laughs> You've not seen Step Brothers? Oh Did you touch God. my drum set? Oh, what? Yes. No, I've never seen it. Yes. No, what, I what, love something Brothers clever that's fucking that's hilarious. Out of She's 33. It's an old movie. Yeah. Fresh okay. knows nothing about American pop yeah, culture. I, I, yeah, but, uh, wrong uh, oh, yeah. He, he, he's. <laughs> wait. Step Brothers is like the most quoted movie in like modern. She's, no, that's Ace Ventura. She's. So, uh, uh, so a guy has actually walked then? up to you and said, hey, Did you touch my drum set? Uh, no, if a guy's coming up to me, we're at a salsa club and he's just asking me to dance. Guys, so he's he's the the question was, what was the best pickup line you ever got? I gave you the pickup line. You didn't say it had to be in person. Oh, she's being clever. She definitely guys. just argues just I'm argues. Being she's sure. she's being clever. What was she's the question? Clever. Was the best yeah. pickup well, line you, you ever got? A six pack. A six so pack no one has ever given you that 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 pickup line. No, not memorably. No. But the question was, have you? What was the best pickup line you ever got? Not what you think it should be. So now I, I guess now everybody's gonna hit you up with. Are uh, you married? Touch my drum set, but well. What, what what was it? Did, did you, you bang, touch my drum set? Did you bang that dude? Or this nigga did he tell you that? He didn't tell you that though. Who? No guy's ever given you that pickup line. Uh, you asked me what pickup line has been memorable. I gave that to you. No, you did not ask said, if it was the... a pickup line in person. Okay. The question, the question, the question, the question the was what is the pickup the best pickup line that worked on you? Yes. In other words, what pickup line did a guy actually tell you in real life that, to your face, that you face. liked? None. Okay. That makes sense. All right, go ahead. Right. God damn. Yeah, I feel like niggas aren't smooth like that anymore. <laughs> I mostly get like, niggas. oh. Niggas. 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 Racist. Niggas. 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 Yeah, nigga. Okay. <laughs> so, yo, McQueen. Oh, flame What's the IG? You, like? you are the king of picket lines, right? Ah. Tell us here and on and in the chat as well. What is the best picket line you could come up with? Or you think I it works? Just say whatever the fuck is on my mind. This one's and, easy. And it's just like, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's just what it is. Okay. It's just a numbers fuck game. But I mean, honestly, real. I think I think honestly, it's just everything you say, it's all about how you say it instead Facts. of what you're saying. Facts. You know, and like the energy, like if you come up and say like the shit that I be saying, most people probably couldn't get away with it. But I just feel like the way that I deliver it and the way you could like feel my energy, I just I don't oh. seem very harmful. It's not what you I say, it's how very, you say it. Exactly. I don't seem very like harmful. And you have you to know? be attractive as well. That's I got a question for the ladies. Do you think it's easy to get girls as a guy? Start here. Yes or no? No. 
Okay. What about you? No. No? Damn. What about you? No. All right, everybody close your eyes. <laughs> we, gotta, we, we, gotta, we gotta do this again now. Go ahead. Okay. Do you think it's easy for guys to get girls? Free Palestine. No. No? <laughs> Damn. All right, what about you? Yes. You think it is? Okay. Okay. What about you? No. What about you? Not. She no. doesn't understand the question. I do understand the question. <laughs> what? No. Where am I? No. <laughs> That's why. Fashion fit. What? The fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the guy? <laughs> the best pickup line is just introducing yourself. Hi. I'm Are Dota. And that's it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What are you on? I'm not on anything. I just. Hey, she's young, man. That's I scary. was gonna say something after that, but then I just I decided to keep it short and simple. So I just said no. So that's why I stuttered. You, you know what? It's funny. We're bagging on her that she's brainless and all that, but she but she's she's a good sport about it. Mm. And this is why men like younger women because yeah, she's yeah, yeah, just, yeah. she doesn't get pissed off or triggered. She's like, all right, fair game. It is what it is. Tell you what, man. Lack of experience really uh, it's really attractive on a woman, oh irregardless of her intelligence level. <laughs> I'm not gonna like deny it. Like, I'm not the smartest cookie, you know. Yeah, it's gonna obvious. She's yeah. like, God, woman, stop it. When we, I was just gonna say, irregardless is not a word. It's yeah, just regardless. Right. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't yeah. matter. She's yeah. higher than you. Yeah, she was waiting for that one. She's like, I don't care. Irregardless is not a word. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not going to be like, oh, wait, did you say irregardless? Okay, you can't come on the yard. You can't come on the yard. You can't come on the yard anymore. Sorry, guys. Guys, you had a question at all for ladies? Anything? Do I have a question? Yeah. I want, to, want to know? I want to tell the chat to go fuck themselves because they think I'm drunk, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some more chats here. All right. Um, okay. Well, actually, you know, I got a question for the girls real quick. Do you think men like strong, independent women? We'll start right here. No. No? Damn. Boy, she's, she's getting, getting smarter by that. No. Can we say why? No? Why? All right. Yeah. Well, no. And well, why? Why? Yeah. Because I feel like for independent women are very well they're independent so they don't need a man they don't need anyone for like they don't need anyone there for them and i think men want to show women the world they want to show them wow you know how to live and how they want to live with someone so i think a woman being so independent mm -hmm. A man doesn't really find that attractive. Unbelievable. For a woman without a high school diploma, that's probably one of the smartest things I've ever Facts. heard any yeah. woman on any panel say. Facts. Shout yeah. out to you. Kudos to you. Very good. You can come to the VIP section tomorrow. Yeah, app. real shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Yeah. 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 Very important person. Yeah. 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 Just, all right, what about you? I think men don't want an independent woman at all because it's just like, what is... It's like you don't need them, and they want you to need them. Not in a way like, oh, I depend on you 100%. Like, you should have your own something. But they want to take care of you and, like, cater to you. All right. Yeah. Take care of, yes, cater to, no. <laughs> what about you? I think men like to be men, and men need to be men in <laughs> relationships. So an independent woman sometimes won't allow a man to be a man because she thinks she can handle her own. That's a okay. fact. All so right. So if... A man wants to provide for his woman and she's trying to say, no, 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 that relationship is doomed to fail. That's a fact. Okay. Okay. Know. Now, you said you're bisexual, right? Correct. If you had to pick one gender for the rest of your life, what would it be, men or women? I think it'd be men. Hot. Okay. Can you tell me why? <laughs> men have dicks, Myron. <laughs> yes, they do. Um, I think it's easier to please a man. And to be submissive is, I don't want to say easy for some women, but I feel like more women should submit to their man if they want to be in a healthy relationship with them. Wow. And sometimes they don't want to. Holy shit. But She's getting do, smarter and you're getting more attractive. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> no, like it. Who knew? It's interesting because I literally said that earlier to her and she didn't agree with me uh, that women typically, when bisexual have given the choice, you got to pick one gender, they typically go with the man. Mm. I was going to say also, since you're bisexual, and you could be, be honest here, in general, do men provide more value in relationships or do women provide more value in relationships? I think men provide more value in relationships. I think it's embedded in their DNA to want to take care of their women. Mm -hmm. So they are a lot 
more willing to provide because they know if they can provide for their woman, she can reciprocate. She's, you know, cleaning the house. She's doing whatever she needs to do as a woman. She's submitting to her men. When you date women in general, do you notice that maybe they're entitled or they, they're they yes. not willing to give as much? Absolutely. Okay. This is interesting Absolutely. because women who are switch hitters are really the only women who understand how flaky and useless and bitchy women can really be. Women can be incredibly yes. bitchy. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. They can yep. be incredibly w bitchy. Jubilee. Yeah, they know. Jubilee. They keeping know. her a thousand. Okay. Jubilee. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Jubilee okay. keeping right. her a thousand. And, and th this is, yo, listen, man, we've interviewed almost 2,000 girls now at this point. Yeah. And I like to always ask the bisexual girls this question. And almost without a shadow of a doubt, they're going to say, I prefer a man if it's going to be long term because men must add value. Guys, no. Girl's not going to fuck with me unless I do something for her. Right. But women, on the other hand, get away all the time with getting in relationships without doing anything for the opposite gender. I 100% agree. I feel like if it's not reciprocated in some way or another, it's not going to last. It's not going to add value to your life. The same way a woman is looking for a man to add value to her life if she wants to be in a committed relationship with him is the same way, you know, vice versa. So mm. I think that it's it's lacked on when it comes to a woman and a woman relationship, because sometimes they can feel that they're adding too much into the relationship versus the other woman. But the other woman feels the exact same way. And also communication falls into the same line as well. There yep. are some women who don't know how to communicate as well. And they'll go head to head with their other woman saying, I can't believe you didn't do this, but I did this. And it it makes for a complicated life for no reason. Like if you if a man knows what a man is going to do and you know what your man is going to do and you know what your man is going to expect from you, then it is what it is. Like you provide this, the value that you know he wants. All right. Very good. <laughs> Shout out Jubilee. X-Men. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, How are you going to follow that up? Free Palestine. Palestine. Free Palestine. <laughs> Other than that. Palestine's country. She's like, yeah, what she said. <laughs> Literally. Like, I actually agree with all you guys. I feel like men really appreciate, like, a partnership that's like that. Like, they appreciate um, just, like, providing and all that stuff. And, yeah. I agree Submitting. With they with show their said. appreciation. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. I so, think yeah. that men yeah. can show their appreciation more than a woman can show her appreciation. Because sometimes women can think oh, they're going to see that I'm doing this. So I should expect them to say thank you or I should expect this. Like you, you're not, your partner is not seeing what you're seeing. If you are not telling them, oh, hey, if you know, if you need me to do this, I'll go do this. Okay, fine. Then that's acknowledgement on both ends. Like, hey, you need me to do something. I'm going to do it for you. But there are times where a woman could, yeah, you can see that the house is clean, but if your woman is doing it the way she does it, clean, clean, you know, sometimes it's forgotten on the man because he's doing whatever he's doing. He's going to Yeah, don't uh, take it personal, you work. know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But you're not gonna ex you you shouldn't expect your man or somebody to just automatically see <laughs> what you see or what you did. I think that that is falling on on a lot of relationships and that's where the lack of communication falls in. And you don't know, and you don't know about Andrew Tate. I don't believe that at all. Interesting. All right. Uh, quick update from the actual party yeah. um, team. So the email was sent out to everyone uh, that bought tickets of the location. So if you are not sure that where the party is, go to your email. You're going to find it there for you. And if you don't have the email, hit hey, Christina on Instagram. And just so y'all know, we're going to have a bunch of YouTubers there tomorrow. Yep. We're going to have 1090 Jake, uh, Bam and Kevo. Oh, we're sure. going to have okay. uh, Donovan Sharp yep. there, McQueen. John from Modern Life Dating. So we're going to have a bunch of YouTubers there, man. It's going to be fucking lit. Yeah. Uh, I think ISO Kenny's going to pull up, too. Um, so, yeah, man, it's going to be a good time. And we're going to have gonna ISO Kenny on the show as well, too. And yeah, yeah, I didn't see that clap coming. Yeah, Did you got, motherfuckers? Got, also, yeah, I didn't uh, see that one coming. Lambo, 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 Lambo Raul. Nigga said L's fresh speech. <laughs> you bangs. Yeah, the, the chat is crazy. The chat's called me a Jew. Yo. <laughs> That's like, like MLG's Jewish. Like, what the fuck? Yo. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. What, what were you saying? Um, no. Uh, some of the guests, but I mean, you'll sign a boat. It's fine. Right. Well, no, some of the guests, too. But I, oh, I, oh, another, oh, okay. We yeah. got even more guests coming. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Cool. You might want to drop it for them now, bro. So they get tickets. Nigga. <laughs> Is Mr. Organic coming? I'm going to meet that guy. Three of them. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. That I'm not sure of. He's cool. 100%. Guy. He seems He's cool, like a real cool guy. He gets the, he gets the last party, though. He All seems right. really cool. Who's next? Um, you want a question? No. <laughs> question for women submission. submission. Yeah. Should a woman submit to a man? Yes. Why? They basically said it all, but I don't know. I feel like men are more caring. 
Yes. I'm not going to lie. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. That's just me, though. <laughs> wow. Oh, be quiet. Criminology. Go get your degree. <laughs> All right. But what makes you say that men are more caring than women? Where's that coming from? She loves her dad. That's a unique answer. <laughs> Um, she has a good relationship with her father. That's right. <laughs> Do you have? A, are you cool, closer to your dad? You're, you're dead? No. Oh. I used to be. I used to be. Oh, oh what happened? Okay. He cheated on my mom. Mm. He's, I mean, Dominican. Yeah. He's Dominican. I mean, He's Dominican. Dominican. Hey. He's Dominican. He's Dominican. He's Dominican. So wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get straight. Oh, cheating, baby. So, so <laughs> you, you, you stop fuck with your dad because he cheated on your mom? No, it's just like I'll try to talk to him, but like he'll try to manipulate me to talk to my mom. Yeah, because he's so a bitch. I father because my daughter. He, want, he wants her mom back. Yeah, basically. Yep, and this just this again. This goes to show it does not matter how many bitches a dude fucks on the side. If you are the main bitch, he loves you. Just because he fucks other bitches does not mean he doesn't love you. Yeah, it's That's true. there it is. It's not and I bet so... you when your mom left your father, uh, I dude, I'll bet you that that destroyed him. Yeah, that destroyed him. He wouldn't like accept it. Like he didn't believe that she she could just leave. Mm, she still happened. tries to talk. He still tries to talk to her. Yep. Though. Yep. Does she, Does she have a new man though? Yeah. No. How old is she? Fifty-two. Oh, oh my god! Right. All right. Like you know, your mom's only hurting herself, right? Let my mom live. I'm just. <laughs> I mean, I mean at 52 on. years old, for long, she ain't get too many no options. options She's bro. a hardworking woman. She I is. get that, but like realistically speaking, like. From a relationship standpoint, she has a kid with your dad. She she, has she had three. well you right, and then they, how long were they together? Twenty seven years. Oh, so wow. she's gonna drop twenty seven years. Lost most of her youth to your father, and she's Eggs. mad about cheating. Most of her youth, all. No, the thing is, I feel like my dad's been cheating on her forever. Okay. okay. And I feel like she Merch. just wants him to change. Like, no. Well, but... that's not going to happen. I know, <laughs> but. What if I told you, she ladies, you want to hear a dark she, secret? She oh, here we go. Cheater. Drop it, my yeah, Ladies, y'all want to hear a dark secret? You're never going to sexually satisfy your guy by yourself. So, more than likely, at some point, if he can cheat and get away with it, he's going to do it. It's just that some guys get caught. It's very true. He did get caught. He butt dialed her. I know. I get that. Oh, but, oh, I, 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 her. I get wait, that. Wait, wait. Was he getting freaky when he butt dialed her? No, he was just talking about her. Oh. Wait, man, he was so, he was talking about her to another girl. No, he was talking to like his friend, and then his phone just like went off. I guess. Oh, and heard the whole conversation. Damn. About him smashing another chick. Sure. Boom, It was anyway, basically uh, like how he cheated her. Okay, I mean, what the? F I mean, freaky as hell. Yeah, a thing. I, well, I mean, it just, what he a just fucked what up. What a boomer, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he just didn't get it. Right. I mean. I think it's kind of weird that you cut your dad a relationship with your dad just because he kind of wants to get you to help him get back with the mother of his daughter and bring the family back together. I think your mom is at 52 years old is like better off being with your dad because she's not going to find another guy. I didn't cut speaking. it off completely. Like if he calls me, I'll answer. I'm not just going to. Oh, well, that's, that's yeah. But like why you should be the conduit to get your parents together. Like, I don't know why you're not, like, getting more involved in making that happen. Because I can try the most I can. If he's still going to go talk to the other woman, give her, like, money and shit, like, there's nothing I can do about that. That's his decision. Because you're giving him, her, my mom's money. My yeah. mom doesn't want that. Okay, but realistically speaking, he loves your mom more. Much yeah, more. Yeah, but she, she thinks she doesn't deserve that. I mean, she's... So be single instead? Yeah. She'd rather die alone? Now she got us. <laughs> She yeah. got that's a little, that's a little different, sweetie. Kids. It's a little different. I mean, when it comes to that, yeah, it's different, but like, yeah, but know. you down here in Miami, bro. She's still in Reading, Pennsylvania, chilling. <laughs> she's still living her life, bro. Living her best life. She's nope. fucking up if you're down here there in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this shit is crazy, bro. <laughs> well, yo, it, she, she's only 20. She's only 20. No, no, no. I know, I know that, but like, I, I just think it's wild to me how like women will destroy a relationship where they invested all of their primary agency, all, all of their youth. Right, because a dude cheated, knowing that dudes are gonna cheat anyway. Like that's just what it is. Dudes are only as faithful as their options. So if you know it's coming, well, she probably didn't know it's coming. That's why she got so shocked. Yeah. It's like women need to accept the fact that, like, bro, you're not that special. He's gonna want to have sex with other women. Devin Sorry, put in, Devin put in the chat though. He's given other women money. That's the probably the biggest. That's thing. Yeah. that. That's the big one. Yeah. That's the real cheating. Yeah. Because wait, does before. he have? Does he have? Is he rich? No, like my mom is the one who makes the money. Right there. Oh, that's yeah. why. Right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the screen. On the screen. Money. That, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Now we know. All yeah. the businesses yeah. she has is under her name. So it's like he's taking money to give to someone else. So she's the breadwinner. 
Yeah. yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, they only accept the infidelity when, when you make money. There it is. You, got, yeah. you, got, you can't be a broke nigga. Nope. Fucking, uh, they ain't taking up for nothing. Sure can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. What well, okay. Yeah. well, that makes sense. That makes sense then. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He'll spend her, hit, her money on another <laughs> on bitch. Another that's bitch. why. Oh, yeah. 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 She's like, <laughs> nigga. My nigga finesse yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. If he spent his money, he'll be like, all right. Listen. At least I get the most. You know what's funny? I hear all the time. The nigga women don't want to date Dominican men, bro, because they did his life. It's so true. I would never date Dominican. I've been saying that. Yeah, nah, nah. Oh. I heard that they be lying, man. So I, I don't know what's up. Yo, niggas put L dad in the show. Hey, but he, listen, listen, he, he must be, for her, her dad to be doing that, he must be throwing it down. Real shit. Bro. To be a broke yeah. nigga and be getting, but, and be sleeping. But to butt dial and get caught, that's a, you, nigga, you lacking, bro. Yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta be clean true, with but that. when you got that kind of arrogance where you're just throwing it down no matter what <laughs> kind of girl you got. You're like, oh, yeah, that's big to bitch I was fucking last night. He going sad, though. He going sad, though. I mean, yo, that's actually funny. Yeah. So, nigga said city yeah. boys meet up. That's <laughs> 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 a city boy. Yeah, oh, in that man. case, a city senior citizens, bro. Uh, God damn. All right. Okay. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, what about you? Wait, where were we again besides Submission. women submitting submit to men? Submit to men. Is that the question? Just should women? Submit? Yeah. And why? Yes or no? Why? Uh, I, it's nice to be able to submit to a man. Wow. Should they, though? Should they? Nope. That's what I said. I I mean, I would just revert to my answer earlier. Okay. Like, if the right. guy right. just provides whatever. a space. Okay. Right. Fine, sure. fine, 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 fine. Right. She's ready to argue. You. She's like, well, Donovan. Yes. <laughs> All right. Send a bitch to law school. Get a dolph recipe. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say yes, because, like, as long as you're taken care of and he's taking care of everything he needs to as a there man. There you then... go. Yeah. Right. There you go. Okay. A lot of guys, a lot of guys out there, and we hold men accountable too, ladies. Like, please believe you cannot expect a woman to submit to you if you are an ain't shit nigga. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Just like I'm not gonna wipe, I'm not gonna wife up or commit to a big bitch. It's one and the same. There you go. Fair enough. Misogyny. No one likes fat girls. No, sir. Uh, oh, wait, right. except for the fat girls that are bad bitches, though, right, Miss Haiti? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. If you like it, I love it. Oh, she's submitting already. Oh, there it is. It's already working. <laughs> All right. A couple girls from last show said they have morals, but ladies, try to spell moral without O R A L. P.S. Ladies, uh, us men desire moral support. Okay. <laughs> Y'all have inspired right. me to be better in life. Keep grinding. One million is only one of many Good. milestones to come. Congratulations, gentlemen. That's from Bad Beats by ISO. And then uh, Cam two times. Cool. And then we got this goes to the guy. Guy that's smashing the Bengali 304. Thanks for oh. taking her away from the Bengali community. One less liberated 304 for us. Like they hate us Bengali guys for being born red pills. Oh my that's God. from Hung Lo. All right, can we get a black lemur face reveal? No, Kumasan, you, you will not get it. Um, we got shout out to the whole <laughs> FNF crew. I got to met to, met y'all today. Uh, most humble guys out there. I was the guy with the blonde girlfriend. Keep it up. All right, shout out to you, bro. Uh, and then we got um 20 bucks from Mando. Mando Puts it's in, in work. work. 27. Question for the ladies. Do you believe women infantilize women, drunk decisions, blaming men's society, redacted consent? We weren't taught that just to give some examples. Infantilize basically just means let Maybe them off the them. hook. Yeah. 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 Do, do uh, you want to go with that one? Fresh? Nah. I think that's a little bit above that's a bit too, the yeah. right here. Yeah. <laughs> Save that for Rumble. That's a little, bit too yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that, that's a little too yeah. <laughs> a little too deep here. DW says, yo, Chris, who's the hot chick that always sits behind you Looking piss, looking piss all the time. Uh, the hot chick that always sit behind me. Um, that's, Zena? That's Mo. You mean Mo? Mo is fine to everybody, so. <laughs> Tomasi Racing. <laughs> <Real> shit. <laughs> Racing says, you guys are amazing. Love you guys so much. Keep up the good work. Thank Shout you, sir. Shout to you, Don Marco. Yes, sir. Don, question for the ladies. Would you feel entitled to cheat if you paid all the bills? Shut the Gabriel Union. Oh, oh shit. That's yeah. a good one. We'll start right here with Haiti. Would you cheat if you're paying all the bills? Or would you feel would you entitled? Not, would you feel entitled to, to cheat? cheat? Not that you would cheat, but would you feel like you could or you're entitled to it? You're paying all the bills. I mean, that's a big if because I don't want that situation for my man, but no. hypothetically speaking, if you were no, in that I wouldn't cheat and I wouldn't feel entitled to. Okay. Right. What about you? Stop the cap. No. She's learning. She's capping like a motherfucker. Yeah, she's, she's learning. Yeah. yeah. What she's about learning. You? I like it. No. But you're Dominican. <laughs> I said Dominican man. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. Women cheat too, though. You're right, but uh, I'm not the. Right. She's Stop different. The cap. She's right, different. What about you? Would you feel entitled to cheat if you made more money than your man? No. Do you make more money than your man right now? No. Hmm. Interesting. Is your guy rich? Um, no. 
Okay. He that, will be though. No, that's why we only listen, see like the pixelated you, pixel you, pixel listen, you see her Instagram. Yeah. Hold on, Rich. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. You caught it. He will be though. Yeah. The ambition's there. She sees it. See, the more money he makes, the 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 less she'll filter out. Like like we'll be able to you know see his face a little clearer. So like <laughs> she's year, not all the way hundred percent yeah, sure. Yeah, so until then, the bikini picture stand up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I would. All right. Do okay. You, do you remember the question? Yeah, I do. Uh, no. What's the question? It was like if you would cheat on your man if you paid all the bills. Okay, yes. Yep. I would well, not. No, do you feel entitled? Uh, entitled. Feel no, entitled. I wouldn't be with him. If there it is. If, yeah. To be honest. There you go. Well, well that's what I would go be homeless. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 she's up for homie. She's yeah. up for. You got to remember that. Um, but let, 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 let's say, let's say you were you were in a relationship with him at first and everything was solid, and uh, then you ended up like you know what I'm saying, making that's more different. than him. That's different. Then would you cheat on him though? No, because that's like something a hardship that he's going through. Like, if he's just broke all the time, like I don't have a job and I'm still not broke. So what if he's putting it down wait, really wait, good? Wait, how you not broke? Because <laughs> if you don't need a job to be able to make money, you can still have like little money? side jobs. She's all side fresh. Jobs. What's the side job? What's the side job? Blow jobs. Like... You blow job. <laughs> 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 hey, blow jobs are jobs too, yo. Oh, you can have you can have other sources of income by like? doing like modeling. You can do a bunch of shit. Sucking man can't model. No, no. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> bro, you ain't modeling. Stop the cap, man. No, no, she's not letting. I think it's this. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she, she, she got sugar yeah. daddies, bro. Yeah. 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 You got sugar daddies, don't you? I've had a couple. Yeah. Oh, there, is. there it is. There you go, nigga. That's hey, why she Shane, unemployed. God damn. She oh, fun employed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she fun employed. She's taking pictures on niggas' boats and shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, balconies. Oh, <laughs> oh, niggas, niggas, come over. I'll pay you $400 no, to take pictures on my true. balcony. Come on, yeah. man. Oh. Yo, nigga, say, yo, model for me, bitch. <laughs> Where's the money? <laughs> she turned on Instagram. It's a dirty old nigga. Hey, hey, come on. Yeah, she's like, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, you know the dirty old niggas are saying that. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Not to me. I've never, I've never had someone say, shake that hole. <laughs> <laughs> shake that hole. Shit. 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 All right, all right. They might say, shake that booty. It's oh, not shake that hole. They might. <laughs> Yo. I mean, what booty is not shake this one? Oh, my God. Yo. Oh. Yo. Y'all die within the good She sounds feet pigs, yes. Oh, oh there it is. Enough <laughs> said. I have one Yo. question for you, Yo, young lady. Are you balcony gang? What? Are you balcony gang? What does that mean? Have you got bust down on the balcony, balcony. before? No. Yes, no. Oh, I don't know. Stop. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. Man, all right, man. I haven't. All right, then how'd you get four hundred dollars on the balcony? <laughs> oh, <I didn't> know. <laughs> <laughs> she was saving up her unemployment. She was shooting that money out just like that. Yeah, yeah, she had to fix the hair too, right? Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, that was her payment for after she got busted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that camera quality is shit, though. I won't lie. Yeah, it is terrible. Yeah, it was the old niggas' droid. <laughs> 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 Cameras, you get the lighter thing and it blows up. Oh, yeah. it was, <laughs> nigga, nigga was like, How do you work this thing? My granddaughter told me one time, I'm making a Polaroid and shit. You want more money? Like the Flintstones. Turn around. 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 <laughs> Yo, I'm talk that, talk oh, that man. Brazilian to me, woman. Oh, Fashi, Fashi, Fashi. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All what right, about yeah, you? It was too much fun. Um, I would say absolutely because if I'm paying the bills 
then I'm the man in that relationship, you know? Oh, okay. So it's like men feel entitled to cheat because they have the role of paying the bills and being secure and making sure the woman is secure. But if I'm paying no, the even bills... No, we're broke, we feel entitled to cheat. Yeah. yeah. Real shit. I mean, yeah. All right, you can't you come on the yacht anymore after that. <laughs> here's the, deal. Here's the, deal. the less The less money you make the more careful you have to be because if you're like a, sure. if you're like an eight For figure sure. nigga, like yeah, that. you can that, that's how it is like if you like if you're a dude that's worth eight figures you can have the main chick and the side chick living yeah. with you in your house if you're worth seven figures the side you can have the main chick but the side chick maybe lives in the pool house good example if, Derek rose you know baby mama yes sir main girl dude that's same what i'm saying thing. Same that's room. what I'm saying. Matching I'm, matching pajamas on Christmas. Top G level. Real shit. Top G level. Real bro. fucking shit. I'll Top say this. Rose. I like your point right there. The the less money you have as a man, mm -hmm. the more careful you have to be that's to right. not get caught, that's right? right? Absolutely. But the more money you have, the more careful the girl's got to be to not fuck with your Whoa! situation. Oh, I want to add to that you though. Went, because then she comes in and like, oh, I don't like this. You, what? Get the fuck out my mansion, bitch. Do you think? Bring in the other one. Do you turn think, into Leonidas, man. Like, hey. Yes. yes. Hey, get the fresh and fit, bitch. Bam. <laughs> All right. Sorry, you're saying? No, no. Just say, do you think money is the only factor with Derek Rose or is it the status as well? It's probably both. both. A combination because, of what both. if it was a crypto guy? Same deal. Nah. Like, no. Nah. His frame. His frame is so solid with his money and his status. It makes sense. Yeah. Versus a crypto guy, it's money. So it's like, ah, nigga, whatever you say. Yeah. And the I crypto guy has oh, game. The sense. crypto guy has game. But if we're talking like one of these 19 year olds that just made a million yeah, dollars. Yeah. Dorks on or Doge, whatever. Yeah, no niggas frame. get finessed. Right. Bro, crypto guys here in Miami get finessed so hard, bro. They'll be at 11 throwing money around. Oh, pay me $1,000 hang out with you. Okay. And they fucking do it. That's why niggas are going broke now or jumping off of balconies because of Ethereum is down because they can't fucking trick no more. No, nope. And we've been <laughs> Lambos in real estate, man. Yeah, man. That's what we're doing. There you go. Get the ammo. Okay. Yeah. Um, so next chat? question. Next question. Fresh, can you read them? All right. Question. Uh, Actually, no. we're to turn it to ladies. Ladies, think yeah. of a question, by the way. Y'all can go ahead and grill us and ask us a question. I know we've been making funny all about balconies and not being able high to submit it. High school and whatnot, diplomas. Yeah. Game revenge. Years. And after this, we'll close out after this. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay. So, Fresh, can you finish reading? And then, ladies, yeah. think of a question and or a comment or a disagreement so, on something that was Tomasi said. says, big fan of the show. I'm a professional race car driver from Rhode Island. <laughs> I raced all over the Northeast. Love you guys. Shout out hey, to you, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, who else? 50? Uh, Mo? Uh, so, Black Wolf Inc. says, Question for Donovan. Any news on the CME 3 and when tickets are going to go on sale? Yeah, um, the only decision I've made on the third CME is that it is 100% going to be in Miami. Um, right now, I am scouting venues and everything like that. But yeah, details are forthcoming. I'm happy with Venny, bro. I might have you there. Uh, Mando it. says, Myron, put me in, coach. I got a good question to ask all the ladies. Uh, uh, okay. He's here, but... Uh... 15 up. He said, put me in. He he said, put me in coach. He's like, all right. Ladies, you know. your dream man. Got it? What does he want out of you? Ooh, that's a good one. Sex. So, in other words, the question is, what do you think the men you want want from a woman like you? 100%. From Johnny Taylor. Down the monko. Yeah. Um, the man that I want wants me to start and finish law school. Um, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a huge L. Um, <laughs> oh boy. He wants me to be able to maintain a balanced household, and, like by cooking and cleaning and. He wants us to be like well connected with each other and be on the same page. What about a balanced diet? <laughs> we're, I'm cooking. I'm she gonna make sure out. we're balanced. I'm not gonna lie. Everything but the law school. The law school. So you can argue with him all day. That's nah, I don't think nope. so. That's L. 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 What about you? Oh, what do I think a guy would want for me? Oh no, but you don't. You don't want a man, right? Uh, either or, doesn't matter. All right. Hypothetically speaking, if you had a man, what do you want from you? Do, do you think? Man of your dreams. <laughs> What does he want from you? To watch my mouth. <laughs> <That's> and submit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I think a man would want me to finish my career. Oh god. Again. Almighty. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies, let me let me let me let me let me clue you in on something. Well, let's we let them all answer though. Let's let them all answer first. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you saw me. Yeah. Yeah. Good time, yeah, let's let them all answer. You saw me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Finish your career, and yeah. Oh, uh, I think you would expect me to be like caring for him, cleaning, cooking, just be a wifey. Face down, ass up. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's that, that, that's that's <laughs> all right. All right. Yep. Face what down, ass up. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I think like some really good like core uh, core qualities like intelligence, um, but like cooking, cleaning, can cook a good meal. Um, like can be very like well spoken and like have good conversations. Like be their partner for life and 
also be submissive, like how we talked earlier. <laughs> what about you? A guy, a guy at the end of the day wants his dick sucked. A guy at the end of the day <laughs> yes, wants a woman that's going to put on nice clothes for them, do a little dance, yes, sir. get on top, have a little fun. At the end do of the day, that's what... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, that's what guys want. They want somebody to submit. They want somebody who's going to look nice and who's not uh-huh. He's not gonna say anything. He'll just do what I want you to do, and that's it. So all if right. you know all this, why are you single? It's a choice. All right, man. What about you? Um, sex, safe space, and food. Damn. There you go. <laughs> to the point. But she knows from her prior engagements. You know? Yes, it. of course. Go of ahead. course. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Nokia flip phones. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing she said. Like, gotta know how to cook. Keep the place clean and kind of just let your guy do his thing sometimes, but like know that you're always there for him and be loyal. Yeah. Okay. All right, Donovan, you want to drop what guys want? Yeah, dude. Um, I'll tell you what we don't want. We don't give a fuck about your careers. We really don't. And it's not, it's not, it's not that that's a lot of guys think that they want a woman with a career, right? But what women don't, there, there are so many women out here who are in their mid to late thirties and they don't have a man. One of the main reasons is because in order to be successful in a corporate America type setting, <clears throat> you have to be masculine because if you, femininity doesn't cut it in the corporate world, it just doesn't. And so in order for women to advance, you have to you have to uh, embody masculine qualities. Well, what ends up happening is that a woman embodies these masculine qualities for so long that she literally forgets how to be a woman. Mm. It's it's incredible. Here's some here's some girl game for the ladies. Right. And this is something Devin talks about. All, this is actually something that she said on a podcast recently, if you're a girl and you're looking for a rich guy, let's say your type is lawyers, maybe go to paralegal school and get your associate degree so that you can work for him. If you're into doctors, maybe get your CNA. If your guy's an entrepreneur, maybe get an accounting certificate. If your guy's an internet content creator, maybe get some SEO certificates. If, if, or if you're, if you're into rich guys, you don't care. Maybe be the ball girl at a golf course. Trust me when I tell you, if you take care of yourself, you will get noticed. So that's just some game for the girls. That's right. That's your W. Yeah, that's yeah, really, advice. Yep, that's but, really good advice. McQueen, what do you think? Watch another girl's hair. Take it. Hundred <laughs> percent. What do you think, bro? That men want from women. What do I think men want from women? Yeah. Sub- submissiveness for sure. Uh, femininity, obviously, like submiss- a submissiveness, like falls into like femininity. Um, Sex, nigga. Obviously, we want pussy. <laughs> the yeah. fuck was that, Chris? <laughs> Uh, was that you or the board? That was Chris, bro. That was Chris, bro. Oh, the fuck? Yo, clip so that. You can't speak, bro. What flavors the pizza? <laughs> Yo, McQueen, question. Peanut butter, Sally. <laughs> Yo, Yo, <laughs> Do LA girls submit? Fuck no. What no. Is, why do you live there? I mean, that's where I'm from, so. Get out. Yeah, we always got the bad bitch. You need to come yeah, to Miami, yeah, huh? Yeah, Miami. Miami. You don't even know yeah. about a conversation, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, you don't yeah, even know. Yeah. Everyone's saying it. Yeah. John, what do men want from women? Oh, I mean, sex, silent servitude. Oh, you know what? There it is. John, how about this? You, you know, you're a successful guy, multimillionaire, very successful, what women would go after, right? You live in Japan, but you grew up here in the United States, mm. grew up in Central Florida, Orlando. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us? One thing that American women royally fuck up that Japanese girls get right. Oh, boy. Oh, they're just too masculine. I don't want to fucking bang a dude. You know, like, they're so masculine out here. Like, you got you ladies got to understand that. Listen up, ladies. how you land a rich guy. Listen, your femininity. It's the cheat code. Is a superpower. Yes. Right? When I see a feminine woman, I look at her, and I know that is a she's a feminine woman, and she's down for me. I will do whatever that's right for her as long as i know that she's feminine and she's down for me i'll take care of whatever whatever problem comes your way i'll make sure you're 100 sorted but some of these chicks here act like dudes they act like they fucking you know that i don't need a chick i don't need to sit around and compete with a chick that i already know that i'm better than in regards to like her fucking competing with me like well you know how much money do you make or right. like, what do you do like well why do you feel that way i'm like bitch i don't have time to fucking argue with you like I don't want to come home to someone that's going to stress me out. You know what I mean? I want to come home to someone who's going to be like, how's your day? Like, let me heal you. Let me fucking 
Let me, let, me bring, let me let me let me <laughs> nurture you. You know what I mean? Let me nurture you. Let me let me massage you. Let me scratch your head till you fall asleep. That's what I want. Back right. scratchers are the fucking best, and dude. Oh my god, dude! You scratch it, my back, you can finesse the hell out of me. Dude. There, <laughs> I'm just gonna so let you know, man. You scratch my back, oh my exactly, god, I'm exactly, exactly. You know, there, there's just so <laughs> much masculinity in these women. They think like being combative and argumentative, like North Carolina here, is like attractive. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, like you, you're giving me an inverse boner. Like my dick is going inside. <laughs> 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 <It's like laughs> Oh my, oh, my oh my goodness, an inverse boner. Okay, yeah. boy, that's a first. That's it. That's definitely a first. W. MLD's drunk. Uh, MLD's drunk. So, so you would say the biggest difference that women fuck up in the United States that Japanese get right is the women in Jap Japan are naturally feminine versus women here act like dudes and are fairly masculine. I'll, I'll tell you this too about Japanese girls. They're the closest thing on this planet to dating girls with actual princess like behavior wow Ooh. are you serious i don't think that's fair shut up you never been to tokyo of course you don't think it's fair i really don't think shut it's fair up. shut up what's shut fair up. about it never been to tokyo what's who is that nigga in the do rag <laughs> Up, <laughs> yo, yo, guys, come on over to Rumble because we got some shit to say about the nigga with the do rag. Come on over right now. Rumble.com. Let's watch the video. Oh, show the video one more time. All right, one more video. Once again, guys, freshman woman party is going to be tomorrow, 9 p.m. Mega yacht. Only us celebrities, hello girls, <laughs> pop out. Here's the first video. The two videos, top deck. We got over 100 girls gonna be there. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Area. Yeah. 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 Michigan's gonna be there. Come through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention the Wolverines. Drink the Wolverines. Okay. So the VIP <laughs> video. Yeah. Five hundred dollar bills is gonna be there too. This is clean. Yeah. Dude. Rooftop as well. Yeah, that was a great highlight, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all seven, all seven, 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 seven. We saw Christina at a fucking. We saw Mountain I'm the captain now. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Give the captain now. Give it a little, bro. There yeah. you go. Top deck. There you go. Hello, space. Yeah, just skip all over it, Chris. Let's party. <laughs> Show Here, let's party. On the floor, Chris. <laughs> and then what about? Did y'all get the outside of the boat? There you go. No, I I don't want to show the yeah yeah no, uh, until the day of. yeah 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 until the, yeah, yeah. didn't want to identify. Thank you, Thank you, you Johnson. Stupid. You understand? <laughs> All right. And that's it. All right, cool guys. The boat is lit. It's three stories. Open bar. Fuck, get in there. Anyway, guys, come on over to Rumble right now. Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit, and we're gonna continue on this ja this conversation. Locations and email sent already. Yeah, Boom. jump on in, guys. Jump on in. Rumble.com slash